all set. Oh, I don't know if you gotta put money in the meter. Uh, I'll they, they, they ain't fucking with nobody, but just kind of. I'll, I'll just get it. Yeah, okay. I'll go. Let me see if you see some sign. All right, all right. Yep. Come. Slow. Well, how about you? I'll set up a block. Well, all y'all listening, you know, watching the videos. And um, we just out here. Going right into it, bringing you this truth, giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shabbat Today's date is like June 6th. Believe it or not, in, in past days, we've been getting a lot of calls from people like, yo, what the fuck do I do? Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I don't know. Yo, I don't know. 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 And this has been a year of prophecy, man. You know? And this is and this and this is really Esau coming out. Give me give me Revelation uh Revelation twelve and twelve. And then give me the Maccabees. Maccabees one verse one. We're gonna try to we are gonna try to go through that whole chapter. You know, because this this is the spirit of Antioch Stephanie's Epiphany coming back. This is the spirit of Nero coming back. You know, hey, I did. I went. I put uh, something about. It. I put some words in there dealing with uh, Donald J. Trump and uh, Nero, and a bunch of sites came up that said, "Why, why, why do so many uh, people compare Donald Trump to Nero? Because he is Nero. He is Nero. We believe he is Nero, but he's come in the spirit of Nero. All right. I right, go ahead. Uh, Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Because he knoweth that he have, he's coming down upon you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. That's why damn near all, of America, all throughout America, man, the major cities, the major states were on fire, man. They were going, and I said this years ago, man. I said this many a time. I said those riots, the riot police and the police setting up and the people rioting and, 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 and uh, you know, going against the establishment. I said it's going to come over here to America. And it has come over here to America. It's, it's here now, man. And like, like, you, go, you go to the plants, right? Those protests that have turned into riots, that's been going on, going on two, going on two years. And they shit ain't showing down. You think it's going to slow down over here? And if it does slow down, uh -huh. then the next thing is going to come. The next you know? wave. The next wave. You know, this, we're at the end of this man. This man know it that he had but a short time. So he's, he's he's scrambling to keep his kingdom. But guess what? The Most High made you. All right? You didn't make yourself. You didn't just pop up uh, from, from nowhere. The Most High created you to be the devil. All right? Go ahead. Is it, go ahead. I got something real quick. Uh, Job 14 and 5, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So he has a time of rulership. Yeah, I got a precept for you. All right, go ahead. Isaiah 10 and 13, for he saith, by the strength of my hand I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am prudent, and I have removed the bounds of the people, and have robbed their treasures, and have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. And my hand have found as a nest the riches of the people, and as one that gathereth eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth. And there was none moved the wing or peeped or, or opened the mouth. You can break it down as you, as you go. Right, talking about the wicked elite of Esau. That's their attitude. Uh, the 13th verse. It says, For he saith, By the strength of my hand I have done it. And meaning what? All the wickedness that he's doing to try to bring in this new world order, right? And by my wisdom, for I am prudent, and I have removed the bounds of the people, and I have robbed their treasures. This is all the wickedness they have done. And I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. And my hand have found as a nest the riches of the people. Like a good example is the Federal Reserve, right? They created that to rip the people off, you know? And as one that gathereth eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth. And there was none that moved the wing or opened the mouth or peeped. Talking about the other people coming up against you. But now the Lord is putting the spirit on us to come up against you. Why? Because 
you're being exposed, you're being revealed. In the book of Obadiah, it says how the things of Esau searched out. So you wicked bankers, man, for a long time you've been behind the scenes, but now you're being exposed. All them little cartoons that you're creating like George Floyd, come on, man, that, that shit was weak. That shit is weak. Even people that don't know about the Illuminati is seen right through that shit, man. You know, so you're being exposed. I don't the, know if you the guys word, Yeah, the word Illuminati has become a, a household name. That's another but thing. But for a long the time. Rappers, the rappers use that. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Niggas with pants below their ass and hat backwards. Right. You, can, so, hey, you can go to Google, <laughs> put Illuminati. It goes into Adam Wise, Hot Maid yep, first. Yep, yeah. Yep. All you got to do is put things together, man. And a lot of these, a lot of these Jakes, they heard the truth from us. Yeah. From the Hebrew Israelites. But... Y'all don't give us no no credit. Y'all think yep. they act like they found it on their own. And the one you thing know? the Apostle Paul said more than 2,000 years ago, he said, as a sign of the last times, that man of sin shall be revealed. Right. Matter of fact, get that. I I'm get it. Get that, get that. Get that. Yeah. And you can start from uh, like around the third, second, third verse. 2 Thessalonians. Hey, we love that scripture like cooked food. <laughs> Uh, 2 Thessalonians 2. You want me to start the first verse, right? Start, start a, yeah, go ahead. Start the first. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Get all that meat. Get all that meat. We're going to try to read most of that chapter. Go okay, ahead. okay. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us, as that day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. Yeah, and is at hand even to the, even today. Yep. You know, June 6, 2020 20 year prophecy, the day is approaching, it's getting closer. It's right, it's at, it's at the door. Matter of fact, give me uh, Romans 13 and 10. Still hold on to that, right? Yeah, hold on to that, okay, Romans right. 13 and 10, all okay. of us. Yeah, this is a beautiful time, man. It's a wonderful time, man. The devils are finally being revealed. Esau is, yeah. Esau is, slow, is showing himself. Yeah. Esau is showing himself. You know, because he knows that he had but a short time. That's why he's scrambling, man. Yeah. But you know what? That's all going to be to to no avail because you're doing what the Most High wants you to do. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's the it. writing's on the wall. <laughs> yeah, this is the great uh, altar. America is a great altar. I was going through that and I was doing a video. I didn't put it up. I put it put it together, but I didn't when I get back to the crib, I put it up and I go I went into the book of Isaiah the 34th chapter. When you read the, Isaiah the 34th chapter, it calls this place um it calls this place a sacrifice, man. Right. So so in, right in Bolsher, Bo the right. land of Edom. This is the land of Edom. But you took it over, you oh you should have just called this instead of America, you should have just called this the land of Edom. You should look, everybody knows that you're an Edomite, man. Everybody knows that right now, that you're an Edomite, that, you're, that you come from Esau, but you want to deny it, all right? But anyway, this place right here, Bozrah, this is the new Bozrah, this is the new land of Edom. This is a new uh, Mount Seir, if you will. Yeah. And um, this this is an altar, because you make a sacrifice on an altar, all right? Now the Most High has set up the prophets, give me give me Revelation, uh, Revelation 11, and you can start from the top. Revelation 11 and 1. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of the Father and the altar and them that worship therein. But the court which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not. For it is given unto the Gentiles. That's the outer temple. The Gentiles can come into the outer temple, right? But they can't come into the inner temple. That's only for the Israelites. You had one high priest that would go in once a year, but guess what? That was open when your uh died on the cross, you know? Yeah, the veil. Yo, right? I, yo, set it right there. Set it right there, right here. In the corner. Yeah, the veil ripped. That was the significance of the veil ripping in the temple when, right. when Yahweh Shai gave up the spirit. Right. I mean, it opened. And then you know what? That was a fulfillment or the beginning of the fulfillment Perfect. of it. Of the prophecy in uh, Exodus 19 and 6, where the Lord said He would make us a kingdom of priests. Right. Not just the Levites would be priests to the nation, but the all 12 tribes would be the priests of yeah, the nation. Yeah, so, so that's beautiful because we here, as acting as priests, mm -hmm. we're prophets, we're priests, you know? We're different we're, tribes. We're, we're different, we wear different hats, 
Yep. So now what we're doing is, before this, the Most High set us up to condemn this place, all right? And then and then uh, the destruction will come. You know, the most the most I set this up to commem commemorate the fact that Esau came into power, Esau gonna lose his power. So now the most is gonna pull us away and he's gonna and he's gonna uh, perform what's called a, a burnt sacrifice. This is gonna be the biggest burnt sacrifice in the history in the history of uh of the of the planet. Yeah. This is gonna be the biggest burnt sac sacrifice in the history of the planet. Yeah. And it's, and it's in order. It's in order, man. Right, go ahead. Quick piece of Amos 3 and 6. Yeah, yeah. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not and be that afraid? City is talking about Babylon the Great. Go ahead. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? And all this riot, riot, rioting, and protesting, and people, you know, going against the cops, the cops losing it, you know? Yeah. That's that's all a part of what we we read, man. This is coming to an end, man. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Surely the Lord Power will do is nothing. That bathroom open? Uh, the restaurant. Uh -huh. The restaurant. Oh, Starbucks. They they, they shut that shit down. Now nah, you could go in and order, but you can't. You can't, can't use the bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and says, so surely the Lord Power will do nothing, but He revealeth His secret unto His servants, the prophets. Yeah, so we have those secrets. We have those secrets, so what we're doing now is bringing these secrets out. We're bringing, we're bringing this thing to pass. Go ahead. Right. The lion hath roared, who will not fear? The Lord power hath spoken, who can but prophesy? Yeah, so if we don't prophesy, the most is going to put the spirit on somebody. All right? Somebody's going to do it. Said Somebody's going to do it. He said he'll raise up the very rocks. Yeah, the rocks. You know, okay. There you go. If you need that. I got a precept apostle. I got I, I got a precept apostle. Go ahead, go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong unto the Lord our power, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. That's it, man. Um, on verse 9 in Amos 3, it, it pretty much is the Lord telling us to go out in Babylon to publish his word. It says, this is Amos 3 and 9. It says, publish in the palaces of at Ashdod and in the palaces in the land of Egypt and say, assemble yourselves upon the mountains of Samaria and behold the great tumults in the midst thereof and the oppressed in the midst thereof. And that's where Israel is at. That's it. We're in, we're in that, that particular yeah. time period. Yeah. Uh, I accept the Canaan minus the Canaan minus. Uh, you, you have said Romans 13. And oh, 10. yeah, Romans 13 and 11. 11. I said 10. Good time, Good time to wake out of oh. sleep. If you like it. Uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, yeah, because Esau now he's using this thing. Well, we're neighbors. We're neighbors. Yep. You know, I live right next door to you. I love black people. I love black people. Well, look. It says, let's read it again. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. So if you're truly neighbors, you would not work any ill to us. And what is the ill that you work on us? You brought us over here to serve slavery, man. And now you don't want to pay for it. You don't want to pay for it. But you're going to pay for it, man. That's right. You reap and what then, you And you know what? You, want, you got the nerve to demonize us uh, for saying that, for merely reading out of the scriptures, you know? And this guy Cuomo, the other day, I think it was a Friday, he, he started to open up the scriptures. He was reading up the reading out of the scriptures, and I said, them scriptures were condemning you. Yeah. But by the way, I believe the Cuomo's are Israelites any goddamn way, you know? Yeah. The but, they, but, they, but they are part of the Edomite program, you know? Still the wicked. Yeah. They're still the wicked, you yeah. know? Come. They're still sipping that Babylon sauce. That, that, that's right. That's right. Babylon juice. Go ahead. It says, therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And Esau, that, you have never shown love, man. That's why there's that all kind of hell is going on throughout this uh, city, this great city. Because when people, people can only be pushed so far and all hell breaks loose. Con. Okay. I got something real quick for you, Apostle. Go ahead. This is the book of Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. The people are in mourning, man. Con. The people are in mourning. Ever since the COVID-19... You, you closed down mostly all of the jobs, 
So you got a lot of people that that, that, that don't have no money. You know? Yep. yep. So a lot of people became homeless within the last couple of months. And a lot of those uh, riots and looting started is being started by them Edomites. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They're coming from their uh, they're being shipped from their yep, uh, neighborhoods. And, and people see and see the thing about you, you start this uh, revolution, you start this uh, bringing hell and chaos on the earth. Everybody and their mama got a smartphone, man. Yep. Yep. Everybody got a smartphone, and what's in the smartphone? A camera. A camera. So you get filmed from all angles, man. Yep. This ain't the '60s and the '70s. Yeah, this ain't the '60s or the '70s. Everything is being filmed, man. You got cameras all over the major cities. Yeah, got yep. three uh, Over there, one and six. How are the things? Oh, they making the police have body cameras, but they, what, what do they do? They break the damn thing. Yep, you know, yep. They turn the shit off. Yep, they're, you know? they're, so no, so the bottom line is the people don't trust you. Right. They don't trust government. You know, get, you know what I want. Give me a uh, second edge uh, 15. 15 Matter of fact, you can start from read the, Let's read the whole thing. Okay. Okay. So today I heard that here in New York, they got they saying that they're, they're they're covering their name badges. It's, it's a different, yeah, 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 another yeah. another uh, uh, states too. And other, okay, I know that. Yeah, I thought so just New York. Their, so they don't see their badge. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, their name. Yeah. They're, and they're trying to say because of the people, their people who have died. Oh, so you put it around your moving right. arm. You cover the badge that's number, it, man. That's it. And yeah. but that, but that, but that's all right. You can cover your badge number, man. Because mm -hmm. you guess what? There are people. The people don't trust you, man. Yep. So when you go to give them the chip, you are gonna have a hard time get, getting that chip, get, getting people to get that chip. And yes, the market of the beast is the microchip. Yep. All right. They're gonna find out soon enough. And you gonna find out. You're you guys that are following the other various different camps, you gonna find out that GMS had the phone too. You gonna find out. Yep. The 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 the, the uh that GMS had this truth. All right. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Which we've been saying. Hundred percent. Yeah, we've been saying that from day one. We got the hundred percent. You're gonna learn. Because uh, how about Shimi Alshai gave us the hundred percent. Um, over there, one and six. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? That's the scripture. And like I said earlier, Apostle Paul said it, man. One of the last signs is that you Edomites would be revealed. You're also known as the man of sin in the Bible. You're the man of sin. So you're being revealed. And we was going to read that in Second Thessalonians. But that's it. All right, so 2nd Ezra 15, want me to start at the top, right, Apostle? Yeah. 2nd uh, Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Yeah, that's the Bible. Yep. Fear not the imagination against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And they've been doing that for years. You know, going back to what, is it 2008, 2009, when they, or 2010, when they were ridiculing us about the concentration camps and the, you know, and the martial law and all of that. Now it's in full bloom and ain't nobody talking about it. Yeah, they, that they, word, incredulity means unbelief. Unbelief, yep. Because eventually, that's why the scriptures say, let the most high be true and every man a liar that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and overcome when thou art judged. You know, because, you know, although they don't believe it, it's still not going to stop the Most High from doing His work. Oh, since you, you know? said that, I got you. Uh, Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Right. So just because they don't believe doesn't mean that the Most High is not going to do His thing. Uh, God forbid. Yea, let, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. Right. Let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. Go ahead. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Why? Because you're speaking according to the oracles of the Most High. And eventually he's going to make his word good, because his word doesn't go out void. And that's the bottom line. Yeah, I got one more pre pre precept for instance. It said that John 3 and 34, it says, uh, For he whom the Most High have sent speaketh the words of the Most High. That's it. For the Most High giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. Right, because when Yahweh Shai spoke, he got the full blessing from the Most High. You know, and, and he, what he did was he got the full portion and he gave the, a portion to each one of his men. You know, and that's why bro different brothers have a portion of the of the full spirit that was given to Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You know, 
That, that was it on that apostle? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. It. Let's, let's go back to uh, Romans, Romans 13. Okay. okay. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Go ahead. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in riding and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. But put ye on the Lord Yahweh Shai. And make not provision for the flesh. Right. Put ye on the Lord your house. Right. What does that mean? That means put on the whole book. Right. You yep. know, at least ye yep. be found naked. So oh, this yeah. is the time to get into these scriptures, to get the understanding of the scriptures. And you have to be taught by men. The most high set up men to establish men to teach you that. That's right. Uh, give me Romans, uh, Romans 10 and 13. I got a quick precept for you. Go ahead. Got to get in the scriptures. Uh, John yeah. 5 and, right and 30, 39. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. That's but, it. You got to, to get this understanding to see that the mark of the beast is right around the corner. We know it by the scriptures. There's no other book. Hey, brother. You know the yeah, no. Yeah, but the other one, bro. And when Floyd, when Floyd fought uh, uh, the brother, he said, I ain't even run. He said, I just did put up the set up. It still gets you there. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get back in. I'm messing with you. I got to pull up on there, but you're right, though. You're right, though. Nah, you're right, though. That's my sister said the same thing. You're looking flat. <laughs> you you kind of, you know, yeah, but that's all right, brother. I'm taking it the wrong back. way. That's that hell, way. brother. That's that hell. <laughs> you gotta keep it tight <laughs> at all times. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> you see, those guys are messing with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, man. Let's go ahead, brother. Yeah, I finished reading. Romans chapter 10, verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And yeah, a preacher, a preacher uh, means a teacher, a prophet. That's what it means. You got you to have somebody teach you, break it down to you, give you the understanding. Oh, give me Acts 8. Give me Acts 8 and go right to the point, you know? Um, this is the book of Acts, chapter 8. Uh, this is um, Acts, chapter 8, and verse 26. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. You go right to the point. Okay. You don't be all that you go right to the point. Uh, verse 30, and Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I, except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he should come up and sit with him. Yeah, he said, How can I have some, let's need some man guide me? So you have to be guided, you have to be taught. And when you go to school, when you go to elementary school, you got to teach them. They don't just take kids. In there, and okay, figure it out. That's no, you got to teach you. You got somebody to lead you right. in the right way. Right. So the same thing goes with the scriptures. You cannot just open up the scriptures and understand the scriptures. Come. Okay. Got a quick precept for you. Uh, Romans two and twenty, an instructor of the foolish, a teacher, a teacher of babes, which has the form. Okay. All right. All right. Good luck. Uh, Romans 2 and 20, an instructor, well, let me start at uh, 19. Uh, uh, Romans 2 and 18, and knoweth his will, and approveth the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law, and art confident <laughs> that thou thyself art, an, art a guide of the blind, 
a light of them which are in darkness, an instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes, which has the form of knowledge and of truth in the law. Thou therefore which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself? Thou that preachest a man should not steal, doest thou steal? So that's 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 the proof that we're setting. Yeah, so bottom line, you need a teacher. You yeah. need somebody to teach you. Eh? That's it. And I, I, that's why you got so many different schools of thought. The comedic community, the uh the Moors, uh Islam, you know, black power this, black power that, comedic this, comedic that. Well, guess what? We don't deal with those people, man. We don't deal, we don't get we don't have debates with them. We don't deal with all we have to do is teach this truth. That's it. We don't got no time to well, I got a question. If I know you're not about this truth, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you I, I'm not gonna give you my time. Yeah. It's and a waste of time. Matthews uh, seven, cast not that which is holy unto the time. I got one more if I may. Isaiah fifty four and thirteen. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord. And grace and great shall be the peace of thy children. This is our Matthew chapter 7, verse 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Hey, that's what they do. When you give them the truth, they're going to uh, trample upon it and then they're going to come against you. Hey, Paul Kersey is a good example. He finally woke up to the fact that the mark of the beast is a microchip, but guess what? Guess what happened? The most I took it from him, man. Give me, give me uh, old old bottles. Come. New wine and old bottles. I got it. Got it. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 9, verse 17. See, if you've been around this truth and the most I open up your eyes to certain things, and you don't jump on it, brother, you don't jump on it and go ahead and teach it, man. Then the most I'm gonna take it right back from you. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 9, verse See, 17. We didn't say, oh, let's stop teaching the market to be the chip because the majority of the Israelites out there are not teaching that, you know? Go ahead. Ne neither do men put you tell them right? whether they hear or forbid. Yep. They hate the fact that we're teaching that the market of the beast is the microchip. Yep. And that the majority of the whole world is going to be microchip. And if you get microchip, you're going to, you're going to be destroyed by the most high when the, when the, when the fire comes. When the, when the great uh, burnt, burnt sacrifice takes place on the great altar, Babylon, the great. I got Go a quick ahead. piece of puzzle. Ecclesiastes 27 9. The birds will resort unto their like, so will truth return unto them that practice in her. Then you gotta practice it. Now you gotta practice it. You gotta teach it. You get and somebody give me go to Luke 19 about the, the hiding of the, of the talent. Because that's what they're doing. They're hiding hiding talents. What is the talent that you that you've been given by the by the most high? Truth. You've been given them the, the talent of these scriptures, man. Right. Understand these scriptures. I got it. Go ahead. Uh, Luke chapter 19, verse 12. He said, Therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom. And that far country is right here in America. Go ahead. And to return. Go ahead. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Occupy till I come. What does that mean? You do the work until I come. What did the Lord, what did our Lord say to the disciples in, 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 in uh, St. John, the fourth, the fourth chapter? He said, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me to finish his work. So once you get this truth, you got to shout it upon the, uh, upon the, uh, the, the house top. Yeah. Somebody hold that too. That's all right. You know? Five. And the Greek word there is pragmaticos. Right, which that literally means it works. Business-like. Yeah. yeah, what works. Yep. Go ahead. It says, uh, but his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Yeah, because this knowledge is money. It tells you that in uh, Romans 11 to 33. Oh, the depths. Yeah, the depth of the riches. Yeah. Go ahead. It said, Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. Remember it said, 
good service, service thou did it well, have, have, have authority over 10 cities. Yep. Somebody hold uh, Matthew 19, verse 27. Go ahead. And he said likewise to him, I'm sorry, let me, and the second came See, saying. We're not looking to be an average Israelite in the kingdom, although an average Israelite in, in the kingdom is going to be doing damn good. Yep. The one, the, there's going to be one in the kingdom, man. You're going to have the 12 disciples, you're going to have the 144,000, you're going to have the one third, and you're going to have the, the men of Israel, which are priests. But there's an order to that, man. God. There's an order. Blessed is he to have uh, part in the first resurrection. That's it. Yep. Go uh, ahead. Uh, verse 18, and the second came saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said, likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. And another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I feared this the... This is the guy that was given the truth. And, and, and for a little while he was out there teaching, but then he stopped teaching. But if you run, it, run across him, he'll tell you that he's an Israelite. He can hit you with some scriptures, you know. But he ain't doing the work no more, man. He ain't shouting up, uh, shouting it off the roof, the rooftop, the rooftop. It speaks about a candle being under a bushel, man. No, you don't take, you don't put the candle under a bushel. You put it so everybody can see. So that candle, that light, is talking about us. You know? Go ahead. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he saith unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then, that, wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury? And he said unto them, yeah, You could have did something. Right. You could have, you could have, you know, sit down, you could have did something. But you wasn't doing that, man. Yeah. This, this is, they show you that this is a business contract. Yeah. You know, this is a business contract. The, the word is the money. The not understanding of the word is the money, and the trading happens when you out in the streets teaching the word. You yeah, know, you, you're trading it says, the knowledge. Buy the truth and sell it huh. you know? That's right. It says, and he said unto them that stood by, take from him the pound and give it to him that have ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he have ten pounds. For I say unto you that unto every one which hath shall be given, and from him that hath not, even that which he hath shall be taken away from him. But yeah, so if you got if the most high open you up to give you this truth, and you playing around with the truth, you're taking time off, you're turning your you turning your back onto the plow, you're not you're no longer fit for the kingdom. So what's gonna happen to you? You're gonna die right along with these poor souls uh in America. All right? Yeah. And there, there's a parable where where Yahweh, where the Most High was speaking to Yahweh Shai and saying, why is this tree cumbering my ground? And then Yahweh Shai said, well, let me dunk it these three years, and if it don't bring fruit, then I'll cast it down. So that's a guy that's not doing the work. Well, the same thing goes with the fig tree. Yeah, yep, yep, that's when right. When he goes to the right. fig tree, he decided to have figs, and the, and the fig tree didn't bear any figs. So what did he do? Cursed. He, 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 he Cursed. made it yeah. wither away. Yeah, yeah. So that's the same thing with you guys that come into this thing. You come into this thing for a while, then you wither away. All yeah. right? Somebody can, somebody can also hold Matthew 13. Let's start from the top on that one. Go ahead. Uh, Proverbs 12 and 27. The slothful man hmm. roasteth not <laughs> that which... <laughs> hey, you can close the book on that. You don't even have to read no more. Uh, Proverbs 12 and man. 27. The slothful man Damn. roasteth not that which he took and hunted. But the substance of a diligent man is precious. Mm. So break it down. Yeah, well, the slothful man. Yeah, yeah. Break it down a little bit further. You go out hunting, you, you, you get the prey. You're right. supposed to kill it, right. dress, dress it, it. Yeah, yeah. and then prepare to eat yeah, it. Yeah. Yep, yep. But the, the, the slothful man, he's so slow, he's so lazy, he doesn't do that. Right. You know? But the other, he's diligent. But he's, he's going to make sure, yeah. that, you know? He goes out, he right. hunts, he gets the prey, he kill it, he dress it. Right. And then he, he, you know, he cooks it. Right. He might be tired, he but he still it. cooks it and, you know, eats yep. it. Yeah. Right. In other words, you be playing games with this truth, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's lamest terms. <laughs> you be playing games with this truth. You might bring the truth out to impress a woman, you know? Hey, when I used to deal with women, I used to go deal with the truth to impress women because that's what I, that was on my mind. I'll tell her what I'm about, you know? Right, right. I don't do that no more. Yeah. Yeah, and then I noticed the key word there is hunting. 
we're out here to hunt too. Right. Because we're, we're, we're hunting for the elect. We're looking fishing. for the Lord's elect. Fishing, fishing the elect. which right. fishing is hunting. When you go fishing, you're hunting for the fish. You know? So there you go. That's it. Uh, verse 27 in Luke 19. But those mine enemies, which were not that I should reign over them, oh, bring yes. hither and slay them before me. I just saw another one. This is pretty good. Proverbs 18 and 9. He also that is slothful in his work is a brother to him that is a great waster. So the most I gave you the greatest knowledge on the planet, and you don't you don't put it you don't put it in the on the shelf some goddamn way. You don't put it in the attic. The great waster. They call you, you the you great waster. You don't put it in the attic, man. That's it. That's it. Yeah, what it, Matthew it's the light. thirteen. Yeah, Go ahead. Black. You got it. Matthew thirteen, verse one. Oh, Let's, you can go to uh, Second Peter uh, two. You can really read that whole, you can read through that whole chapter. chapter. Okay. Right, go ahead. Right. Matthew 13, verse 1. The same day went Yahweh Shai out of the house and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the, on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. So what does that mean? That means the ones of you that are planted and grounded and rooted, you're the ones that are going to bring, bring in the fruit. All right? And the ones of you that fall off, you're going to, you're going to fall off, you're going to wither away, and your fruit are going to fall off and wither away with you because they're going to follow you back. And like Nazariah, I'm just using him as an God, example. God. When he fell off and didn't want to do this, guess what? His men didn't say, oh, okay, well, we're going to keep bringing it out. That's what they should have did, right? right. right. What yeah. did they do? They fell off with him. Yep. Then he started. When he stopped doing the videos, they stopped doing the videos, man. So they will follow this this person be the man that trusts the man. Then he started changing the doctrine. Then he, he completely changed the doctrine. Oh, give me Romans, uh, uh, what is that? Romans 6, what is that? Romans 6 and 17. Oh, yeah. You got this, other one? Yeah. Romans chapter 6, verse 17. But the Most High be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. What you mean from? Uh, Romans 6, and that was... No, no, Romans 6. 16. Romans 16, verse 17. Yeah. I got a quick precept. Read okay. Romans chapter 16, verse 17. So like it. it says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses. Well, that's what he did. When he left us, what did he do? He started changing everything. Oh, the missiles ain't right. The, 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 the missiles, it's arrows. I'm not talking about missiles. What else did he do? Babylon is not America. Oh, Babylon is uh, Vatican City. Vatican City. You know? Yep. He pretty much changed. If he, if he didn't change everything, he changed him to everything. Yeah. He and, tried that, to, and where is he at now? He's. We don't even know where he's at, man. Yeah. He tried to bring in the tribe of Dan. Oh, yeah. He, started, he first started with the tribe of Dan. Yeah. And then we basically we came back to us and said, look, brother, if you're teaching that, you can't be a mother. And then what happened? Like the scriptures say, he, he waxed worse and worse. Yep. Go ahead. All right. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahushai, but their own belly. They were really about themselves. Yep. They weren't about this about waking up brothers they were really about themselves all right and i just use him as an example i can use many people man many men that have fall, fallen off from this truth for the three years go ahead and by good words 
and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Right. Right, deceive the heart of the simple. Because the, when you when you fall off, the people that followed you won't fall off too. That was it on there? Oh, you're back in. Yeah. <clears throat> you, want, you want me to keep reading on? Um, I had a quick research. That was it. I think that was the point you wanted that to make. That was the point I needed. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Proverbs 23 and 8. The morsel which thou hast eaten shall thou vomit up and lose thy sweet words. That's a good one. Mm. Lose thy sweet words. All right? Yeah, yeah. Because you're supposed to eat the whole roll. And you got people that eat the parts of the roll. They eat, they eat the roll, the parts they like, and the parts that they don't like, they spit it out. Well, that's the, the most I didn't say that, man. He said to eat the whole roll. Well, and if, it, if it's bitter, then we're supposed to deal with it. Yeah. Well, you're supposed to deal. Well, it said it's going to be bitter. Yeah. It said it's going to be bitter. All right? It's just like when you eat regular food, if you only eat the sweet, you're going to get sick. You know, you have to eat the sweet, the bitter, the, 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 the uh, what's that, the, the with lemon, the sour, yeah. Huh? Huh? And really, the bitter is the best part for you because back in the day. Well, they got a thing called bitters. I was bitters. just going to say that. <laughs> it's not bitters, bitters. Bitters, yeah. Cures cancer, you know. Yeah. Oh, the old people. I, I remember in the islands, the old people they would they had they ate something called bitters, and that was for their health. Yeah. 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 Because bitter is really bitter is better for you than sweet. Mm -hmm. you know? Yes. Yeah. Go bitter ahead. is better. Um, bitter is better. Yeah. We're done with that. Okay. Be a t -shirt. Um. Do you want to go to Second Peter, Apostle? Yeah. Second Peter two and one. Set at the top. Yeah. All right. Second Peter two and one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. Who and now we're saying Matthew's uh, the 24th chapter, Matthew's 13th chapter, Luke, Luke the uh, 21st chapter, many chapters where the Lord told you that there's going to be false teachers out there. That's why you have so many uh, uh, schools of thought among Jake, man. And there's only one truth. There's only one way. Excuse me. All right? I got a precept for you. Proving, proving bitter is better. Hebrews 2 and 10. <laughs> for it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. What's the sufferings? The bitter. It ain't the sweet. It's the bitter. And that's why the Apostle Paul said, the most I spoke to the Apostle Paul telling he charged him to go out in, in, um, on the highways and the byways in season and out of season, man. So you got guys, they, they established their own righteousness pursuant to Romans uh, the 10th chapter. Oh, well, we're going to take what's off. If we don't want nobody to catch us through, through or get a go. Well, the, the, the Apostle Paul said, in season, out of season, man. Where we at? That's it. Second Peter 2 and 1 again. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies. Well, that's what he did. We, we talking about Nazariah. He did that. He was bringing in different doctrines, and them guys followed. Well, anytime he changed the doctrine, um, oh, even this guy, uh, uh, Element 7, was a part of them. They were too, changing too many doctrines, and he got out of here, man. Yep. You know? We got one more with the bitter. Right, and them guys followed, him, followed this guy to the end, man. Yeah, yeah and, and I remember when they, they said that when he was teaching that Dan thing, he told him brothers that was there at the Passover not to tell anybody. Oh, because that was well, that was a secret, yeah. you know, secret doctrine. Yep. Secret doctrine. Yep. Because um, that's when um, I believe it was Malcolm and the heads of Chicago were up here at, at the Passover, well, and that's that's, what we heard. that's yeah. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is just one more, if I may. Uh, Second Timothy two and five, and if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is yet is he not crowned. Except he strive lawfully. Yeah. If yeah. you strive and you're going to deal lawfully with lawfully, meaning to do it the right way. All right. Except he, he is not crowned. Except he strive lawfully. Yeah. And that is true. Like anything you get, if you do, if you take shortcuts, it's not as beneficial as if you go about it the right way. You know, like even in boxing, Pastor, you know, like if somebody's half stepping in their in their workout when they go in the ring, it's going to show. Get you like us. You know, it's going to show. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, it's going to show in the ring, you know. If you have stepping, you know, in, in the ring, I mean, in the 
in your workout is going to show when you act in the actual fight. You know? So it says, even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the old. Oh, and many shall follow their pernicious ways. You have followers, man. Yep. You have followers. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. The way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Anything that we taught, they taught opposite, and they, and they said that it was evil. That's huh. what we did, you know? Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can look up that word real quick. Second Peter 2 and the word pernicious. Pernicious ways is apoleia, which Apollos. Um, ruin or loss, physical, spiritual, or eternal. Damnable, damnation. Destruction, die perdition. So they're gonna follow those those destructive ways of theirs. It says, um, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of, and through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Yeah, so they're gonna be they're gonna be destroyed, man. Uh -huh. Ultimately, they're gonna be destroyed. It says, uh, for if the Most High spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly. So, so there's going to be another Sodom and Gomorrah with this country, but it's going to be a major Sodom yep. and Gomorrah. Huh. You know, when you compare Sodom and Gomorrah and the other three cities, um, that's nothing compared to America. America yep. is a, a fast place, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's right. We're talking 5,000 miles by, what is it, 3,000 miles? That's a lot of land right there. Yep, yep. That's going to be destroyed. Yeah, and, and the Lord caused the elements to come together and bring fire back then you know and deliver just lot and deliver just lot and deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked oh and by the way lot then you might say well is lot an israelite if he's righteous yes because he came back as an israelite the fact yep. that he was considered righteous he came back as an israelite Come. lot came back as an israelite Abraham came back as an Israelite. Yep. Isaac came back as an Israelite. Israelite. Jacob came back as an Israelite. Yeah. Huh? And he was a. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I was going to say there were sons of the power to begin. Right. There were yeah. sons of the power to begin. Yeah. Con. And um um, Lot was of the lineage of uh, Abraham. To his, that's, 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 to his that's brother, right. you know. Sons of the power. Yeah, yeah. Because huh? before we got the title Israelite, we were known as sons of the power. Right. We had the sons of the wicked. We had the sons of man, which the other nations. Sons of the wicked being Esau Edom, and we Israelites, sons of the power. Yeah. That's why the scriptures speak about the third part of man. Yep. Uh, There's your three broken down right yep. there. A lot of people don't understand that. That's a key. That's one of those keys to know. Because in Revelation, it spoke of it. Yeah. The, the third part, the third part of the city fell. Right. The third part of the rivers. The third, the third part, part. Yep. The third part in uh, Revelation 8. Yep. Uh, when it speaks about the third part of the sea, that's talking about Esau. Yep. Uh, three three parts yeah. sons of men sons of yeah. the wicked sons of the, of the most high yeah because these devils are in control of the earth right now you know it says and deliver just lot vexed, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked for that righteous man dwelling among them. the wicked at that time was the, the were canaanites God. the first uh, moles were canaanites <laughs> yeah it speaks okay. of, it speaks about them in their part for they did the uh, odious works Woo. when you look up that word odious it means <laughs> Despicable, right, right, low man. life. Right. Hey, so oh. Esau really was following the Canaanites, man. Those yep. gods that Esau works, worship the ancient gods, or the 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 masons, not the masons, but the masons. Yeah, the masons. Uh, who was that? That was a uh, 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 peel, key, key and peel. Okay. Oh, okay. The, the masons. <laughs> the Melly Gibsons. Yeah, the masons. The masons. Mason, the masons was, was goes back to uh, 
The oh, son, that was a son. Just have, huh? Sorry, that was a son Campbell, right? Oh, Said he's talking too? about a guy named uh, Mason. There's right, right, right. Mason. Oh, okay, okay. It's a lot. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, there's an actual dude out here. Um, what was I going to say? Um, the widow's son. Oh, the widow's son what? is a uh, Canaan. You know, uh, yeah. Hiram, 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 right, as they Hiram. call Hiram a fifth. He's a Canaan man, which is a so-called black man. Move the bags if the, if the brother want to come through. Yeah, they got a character. Move the bottles and everything. This guy, uh, Keith, he plays a character. This guy, Keith. Yeah, Not yeah. Peel, the other guy, Keith. Right. He plays a character. Of, he plays his teacher. Right. And uh, he messes up uh, people's locked. names. Like the, the chick name, uh, the chick was uh, Jacqueline. He called her Jay Quellen. Oh, Quellen. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Jay, uh, you, guys, you see? The guy that, yeah, they, they're, they're Folly Devens. The, the oh, guy, yeah, Keith, Keith. Uh, he plays that high school teacher. And he messes up people's name oh, like, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, guy yeah. Uh, yeah. uh he had a one cracker his name was blake he said balaki yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so like yeah. you said mason mason balaki and jay quellen yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> jay quellen it's supposed to be jacqueline but it's jay, jay quellen. quellen that's that's all i think he just got it, it I, I got you are you awesome yeah. i got a little bit more it says for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexes righteous soul yeah, from day to day with their unlawful deeds. You said that last yeah, that, week. That was a yes. Oh, yeah. Plus, I got a precept. Right. This is a Luke 17, verse 26. They always come around. Luke chapter 17, verse 26. And as it was in the days of Noah. Yeah, so, yeah man. Yeah, I think they both, you know. No, I knew he, he had to go. He had to go right now. <laughs> well, he, he ain't go. He already gone. He already gone. Hey, hey, them demons are like, they be like, <laughs> this is what I think of your work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> hey, as the as days of note. Yeah. It says, oh, and now it's the, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, when you got to go, you got to go. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go. Luke 17, verse 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They peed. They peed. They defecated. They peed on the kid. <laughs> they were doing all they kind were, of things. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Mm. Likewise, and also. And then you can see the people out here. Yeah. You know, the, uh, in America, around the world, they don't know what's getting ready to happen. They don't know. No, they don't know that, that, that there's going to be missiles shot. There's going to be a, a, the war of Armageddon. Yep, yep. You know, they don't know that. No, oblivious. They have no clue. No, oblivious. Oh, for they're this they're, oblivious to it. For this, they are willingly ignorant. They still think they got rights according to the Constitution. Oh Lord. They suspended that long no, time. They ain't, gonna, they ain't got no more rights. They're gonna start getting left. Left hooks. Yep. Spiritual left hooks. Oh yeah. They don't understand that they're gonna get lined up and they're gonna get chipped. Yeah. And then and then they're gonna be fired up. You know what I'm saying? Most high gonna give them that smoke. <laughs> That's literally. actually in the scripture. Yeah, yeah. Most high yeah. gonna, gonna give them that smoke. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a precept for you. Um smoke uh, meat. Uh, uh first damn. Uh, first Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, beginning at the fourth verse. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Yeah, that day, that day, when the when the missiles are shot, when we get beamed up, when this destruction comes, you know, when the Most High uh, finally uh, commits to his uh, a burnt sacrifice. Understand? In Basra, in Basra. He are all. He are all the sacrifice. Yeah. This is the altar. You got to get that in your mind. Why? When Esau Edomites, when Edomites roll up and say, "Well, if you don't like what's going on, leave the country." Well, wait a minute. We were brought. We didn't ask to come here. You brought us over here against our will. Yep. And now you're telling us to go. Where are we gonna go? Right. You can't go back to Israel because you got the so-called Jews over there running that place. The reason why we're here is a testimony. Of what the scripture is all about, and that's right. why Israel's here, man. Yeah, that's why all the tribes are here. You did that. You did that, Esau. So, so our job is what to condemn this place before before the Most High take this place out. 
I got a priest of fossil. See, this America's not gonna be taken out unless we condemn this place. Right. Esau's on trial. Yeah. <laughs> Jeeves ain't no trial. Jeeves ain't no Esau's, on trial. Esau's on trial. You need a mic to on trial, and you don't like it, man. <laughs> That's why if you have your way, you would get us off the street for good. But go but go ahead and get us off the street because guess what? The most I getting ready to do his thing anyway. He's getting yeah. ready to smoke you. Yeah. You getting ready to be smoked. All right? How you doing, man? Uh, All right. What are you guys doing? We're teaching the Bible. Oh, going to work. Well, you guys teach the Bible? Yeah, study, only study. We're students. Oh, you're students? Okay. All right. Well, what do you know about the Bible? It's written by. It was written in my mother's tongue. Say again? It was written in my mother's tongue. In your, Hebrew. Okay, so you are Israel, you're Hebrew? Yeah, Hebrew. Well, you're Jewish? Indeed. Okay, but you, you might not be. You might not be. Everything is possible uh, these days. But I'll say this, I'll say this. Then again, you might be. Exactly. You might be. <laughs> because you're gonna have hey, you're gonna have Israelites looking like every color. Exactly. But the majority of people over in Israel, a lot of them are Edomites. You ever hear about the Edomites? Edomites. You, you know about the Edomites? Yes. A lot of y'all are Edomites. The True. majority of y'all are Edomites. There was a king why, named Alexander. Why did they cut it? There was a king named Alexander and I. They, they cut it before, before they said anything. You know, I was too young. They didn't ask me if I was Edomite. Oh, they oh well, they, they don't know. Maybe they don't know. They don't know. know. Yeah, yeah. They don't know. You know, the Edomites are the wicked. We only have here, 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 here to tell you the truth. Yeah. That but, the majority of y'all are Edomites. But there's, a percentage, them, if but there's am, a percentage that are down with us that look like look like you. Yeah, Israelites. Because you know? Israel was scattered throughout well, the four if corners. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm well, 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 Edomites, Edomites, well, Edomites. If, Edomites. If, you're born, if you're born to them. No, but if you're born, if you're born an Edomite, your future is slavery. Yep. Yeah, they're the wicked. Well, what's your, what's oh no, the, the Edomites. The Mo, what's the Most High going to do? Right. It's about what the Most High yeah. is going to do. That's right. Just like, see, we're slaves. How do we how do we come to this country? We came over this com this country to serve slavery, right? Yeah. Why was that? Because it's the plan of the Most High. Yep. We went we went into slavery because of the plan of the Most High because we broke the law. Yes. So now the other nations are gonna have to go into slavery. So yeah. slavery is in your past, but in the end of my future. Yes. Yes. Thank yes. You got it. There you go. No, no, I could have said it better myself. <laughs> so the only thing you can do, brother, is hope that you're not an Edomite. Edomite. <laughs> yeah. That's oh. the only thing you can do. Yeah. Pray for me. That's it. It's a very passive doctrine. Well, it's the truth. It's the truth, yeah. It's, it's simple, much. simple. It's very, it's very, it's very, if you tell me that's the truth and then you're not saying I should do anything, I'm it's like, It's a straightforward okay, doctrine. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, yeah. It's a cut and dry doctrine. Yeah, there's, nothing, there's nothing you can do. That's the only, like I said, the only thing but you then, can, there's one thing you can do. But then I have a question. Go ahead. Why would it help me to know that my future is in slavery? So you can know where you're going. Do about it. Why would that knowledge because, 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 but you gotta you, you gotta ask the most high about that. I got the it. most high the most high wants us to tell these you're people his, his prophets, I, prophets. Prophets, yeah. So yeah. say guys, I got I gotta so we gotta tell you the truth. I got a scripture for you, if I may read it to you. Uh, Proverbs twenty and twenty four. Proverbs? Yeah, yeah, Proverbs twenty and twenty four. I got one too. It says this. It says, Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? It's not no coincidence the Spirit of the Lord brought you here. Uh -huh. Now the next question is, why did the Spirit of the Lord bring you here? Right. Since we're reading man's goings and not of the Lord, uh, of who the controls Lord. man's goings? Right. The Lord. one who made you. So the next question is, why were you brought here? That's you were brought here to hear the truth. Right. right. So I, I got one. I got one for you. Uh, I got I one for y'all. This is Romans nine and nineteen. Thou will say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? For who has resisted his will? Why are you here? Who, who brought you here? For who has resisted his will? In other words, Nobody. who can resist God's will? God's Nobody. will was for you to be here. Yeah. Why? The next question is why? So you can hear the truth. Right. You can hear the real truth. And and for one more thing. And so this is the man, you know this is the man who the Lord used to give no, it to. No, 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 say what you gotta say. Say again. No, he's got he's got an irreverent question. Yeah. He's trying to get to the How top of the mountain. Get to the top over there. You can throw the bike over there and run up there. We're not, we're not we gonna can't go bike. inside with the bicycle. We're not gonna talk. No, no. Uh, <laughs> that's the there might there's be. No, there's no roots. If you go, if, you know what? You can probably go to the back. Yeah. yeah. Go to the back where the. Uh, there's some stairs. There's some stairs. You can probably get in that way. Yeah. And then you get to the voices. Yeah. 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 Okay. But watch the police, Guys, brother. You got it. It's got a lot right. of stairs, though. A lot he of stairs. Preaching. 
keep believing. All right. That's what we had to do. All right, man. Bye. A lot of stairs. A lot of stairs. A lot of stairs, huh? Yeah, a lot of All freshness, right. too. It ain't yeah. the stairway to heaven. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now, go ahead. It ain't Jacob's ladder, either. Uh, you I got to see. You got to see. <laughs> the Edomites came up. Right. Yeah. in front of them. And we had a talk. Right. They didn't get mad about it. They, you know, they just questioned. They had yeah. more questions, man. Yeah. And we said, we said that you're going to have... Israelites looking just like Edomites, man. Yep. You know? It's almost as if they knew that they knew yeah, that Jake yeah, is yeah. Um, the Israelites. Yeah, yeah. And they know there's nothing they could do about there's it. There's nothing they could yeah, do. Yeah. So, well, the only know. thing they can do about it is hope that they're not Edomites. Hope that they look only merely look like Edomites. You know? I got Isaiah the 34th chapter. Go ahead, get down. This is like the book of Isaiah. See, 30... what they want, what they want you to think is that if Israelites see Edomites, we're just going to curse them out and beat the shit out of them and shoot them and this and that. No, groups. hey, we're going to hit you with the truth, man. Right. You know, we found out the truth hurts far more oh, than yeah. anything yeah. else, man. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. When somebody tell you the truth about yourself, man, they tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. About yourself. That's that's that that's going to hurt you, man. Yeah, the truth does you're a... You're an asshole, you're this, you're Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You know? And the truth does a paintbrush on you. Paint, uh, paint you know, I got a piece And it's, it's some paint, paint job. jobs. Paint jobs. I, I said paint uh, brush. No. Nope. Uh, Proverbs 18 and 14. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit mm. who can bear. Yeah, yeah. So we don't know what these guys are going to do when they go home. Right. Maybe they're going to pray and hope that they're Israelites, or maybe they're going to kill themselves, or maybe they're going to go to sleep and forget about it. And maybe they're going to run into another group of Israelites, yep. you know? Maybe they might fall off the mountain. Maybe, my, <laughs> maybe they might fall off the mountain. But one thing we know for sure, the Heavenly Father guided them right here. Yep. Uh -huh. That's, that wasn't coincidence. In our world, there's no such thing as coincidence. Right. If, if, Old man going as, as a, as a, Yeah, which I read to him. Yeah. The, the scriptures say if a sparrow don't fall to the ground unless Yahushai said that. Right. A sparrow cannot fall to the ground unless the Heavenly Father sanctioned it. That's right. That's a sparrow. So how much more a couple of guys come in here, they weren't, that wasn't coincidence. Right. The Lord led them here so they could hear the truth yeah, for whatever and, reason. And if we were so menacing, how come they were able to stop and approach? Well, well. You know? And Curzi, you said we don't teach nobody out in the street. We're just hanging out. Was that an example of hanging out? And you know what's funny, man? <laughs> uh, where's that night? You see Isaiah 1 or Isaiah 3? If we came unto our own, they wouldn't listen. Yeah, but there you another, who's that? Isaiah <laughs> one, three, I think it is. I, I know there's one in Ezekiel. Isaiah, Isaiah. Well, that's the one too. Ezekiel three. Go to that. Go to that. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ezekiel three. That's it. I think that's it. Yeah, the one. But I, but it's also in Isaiah. Isaiah yeah. But the Ezekiel third chapter is good too. Okay. Read that one. Um, Ezekiel chapter three, verse four, and he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of an hard language, but to the house of Israel. Not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou canst not understand. Surely, had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. If, if the Most High sent, them, sent us to another nation, they were hearkened. So those two guys in the bank, they hearkened. They considered, you know? And when we said Edomites, they knew it all yep. Edom. Oh yeah, you know, they knew about Edom. Yep. And how many Jakes know about Edom? Because Jake is not gonna stand around long enough to get this, man. Right. Jake is not gonna take out a notepad and write shit, man. Right. You know? Yeah, and they didn't know that the Edomites are the wicked. The whole nation of the Edomites are the wicked. Well no, they do teach that. They do teach that in the city in the, in the oh, well, city that... in the city gods. Yeah. Like why I would say the city, they teach that in the city God. The city God. They, they, they do know about Jacob and Esau. They yeah. call it Yaakov and Esau. Yeah. God. But then they believe, they think that that's not talking about them. Right. That's talking about them. Exactly. I mean, y'all know it. This is just for basic. You know? yeah, yeah. And the one guy looked just like Esau. Right, the, the one in the back. The one guy looked just yeah, like yeah. Esau. Yeah, but guess people. what? He, he could be Israelite. Have Israel That's why I said like you that. better hope like hell you an Israelite, man. Right. Hey, well, a good example of that is Blake Griffin's son. Look what he looks yeah, like. He looks like an Edomite. You know? Like, an Edomite. Yep. like, you know, this guy, Willie D, you know, he was doing a thing about some some group of uh, Latinos. He called them white Latinos. You know? So, I, no, I'm thinking, like, why don't you call, like, Blake Griffin's son, what would you call him, a white black man? 
It don't make no sense. There, there's a lot of ignorance out there, you know? Yeah, that's that covering cast, yeah. which the Lord said he's going to destroy. White, black. Right. You know, there's no such thing as white people. There's no such thing as black right. people. Because they'll call Blake Griffin. What you going to call him? A black, white, uh, a, hey, a white, hey, black hey, man? Hey, hey. Come, come hang with us. Come hang with us today, brother. Get them, get them precepts. Get them precepts lined up. Come. Now you drop oh, some, bro. All right, so um, Ezekiel 3 and 7 now. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Yeah, they don't, they don't listen. You know, so at, at one point, Jack will kind of gather a crowd yeah. and kind of listen. Jack don't even listen, man. You know? But I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their forehead. As an adamant, harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at, the, at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Because Jake can get real aggressive. Okay. You know? So the Lord, you know, make... Yeah, yeah, they get, uh, they get aggressive. Yeah, like that dude. Hey, I got question, Yeah, what's your question? Okay. Um, you know, the well, she may have question me, let me Because, it, well, you know what? I can't answer it easy. It takes a while. Right. It's a whole, it, it might take an hour or so to understand it. Yeah, yeah, but they're, 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 they're being yeah, wicked. They're, 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 they're being wicked. Yeah, that's good too. that you looked at the sign. Yeah. Uh, that's good that you looked at the sign. I do for you at the Okay, good. But you know, but, but, but you know, he, they speak in Spanish. Yeah. Don't go nowhere. There's a written now. If you notice, he came right to the sign. Yep. Give me the sign. Yep. He can write in the book. Are, huh? Only I know. Yes. Yeah. You got it, bro? Okay. Cool. Beautiful. Jesus right? Let's see. Go to Israel. Exactly. Exactly. And exactly. we have to be careful and watch it. That thing that happens right now. Right. People yeah. think they say apocalypse. They're not. They're like, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Habla español? Sí. La antesala de lo que va a venir. Yeah, in other words, the, the, the things that are going happening before, like Nuri, I wish I said, um, right, but the uh, signs, the signs of things to come. The beginning of sorrow. Right, right. Now, now, now you I said, want to know how. This is my question. Give me, give me the scripture. Right, Ezekiel. Ezekiel 37. I'm gonna start at verse 15. Ezekiel 37, capítulo 37. You got to stand it up. Damn. I got, I got it here. Yeah, I just left my Spanish Bible too today. All right. Este es Ezequiel capítulo 37. Y este es lo que el Señor le dijo a Ezequiel que hiciera. Este es capítulo 37 de Ezequiel. You know, let him know that there, there, there was a great awakening. Sí. You know, Ezekiel 37 from the top. Yep. There was a great awakening. So what's the awakening part? The awakening is the sign, man. Yeah. Y ese, ese, ese sign que usted ve, ese es parte de lo, la, la tribu del uh, el reino norteño. 37, 37, 37, versículo 15. Y eso le dice de, del, 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 del palo, que, los dos palos que el Señor dijo sí, a Ezequiel lo que lo juntara. Y, y uno era para la... Porque, ¿Usted sabe por qué? Porque en ese tiempo... Ezequiel, ¿qué? 37, 16. Lo que pasó fue que el Señor dividió el reino en dos. Y lo trajo para atrás en uno. Y eso es lo que le, le, el mandamiento que le dio a Ezequiel para hoy en día. Y, iba de, y, y, sí, y dice el, la, la escritura que la gente iban a, a, a preguntar qué significa este sign como usted hizo. ¿Sabes? 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 Okay, este es el libro de Ezequiel, capítulo 37, versículo 15. I got it. You got it? I go oh, you're going to go? Okay, okay. okay. No, I don't want to say something one thing, Papa. You said that, you said that the, the Haitians, they practice voodoo, right? Things like that. Voodoo, but everything. all those people practice a manner thing. of voodoo. Sí. Or, or believe in the Santeria. devil. But not all of them. No, Some of them believe. Know. It tells you that you know? they were cool. Oye, no. Yeah. Yeah. Ellos adoran dioses diferentes. Sí. Pero sí. hay un solo dios que... Yeah. Sí, pero la cosa es que hay un dominicano que también sí, adora, sí, ¿sabes? Sí, en cada, sí, en cada sí, de esta gente. Puertorriqueño, sí. Eso que estoy diciendo. Sí. La sí. santería sí. y todo eso. Pero, pero 
que lo que más adoran esas cosas. Sí, y sabe por qué? Porque ellos eran, oh, yeah. ellos eran lo, lo, los sacerdotes sí. de la nación de Israel, de la Levi. tribu de Levi. Sí. Y por sí. eso que tienen todavía eso adentro de ellos. Sí. Eso es parte del culto pero que, que no tenían. Sí, pero ellos lo están haciendo mal en el, en el lado izquierdo. ¿Ve? Sí. Pero la gente de nosotros. En la escuela no va a aprender esto. Está bien, dame. Ok. Tengo que ir a trabajar. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? Luis. ¿Su nombre? Luis. 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 Ok. ¿Qué yeah, significa Luis? Luis significa? Luz. Luz. Yep. There you go, my friend. ¿Y tú eres una, un, un israelita también? Sí. Tú eres. Mi abuelo, mi abuelo son de, de, de Yala, de, de Yala, de Jerusalén. Pero tú eres, somos, somos israelitas ancianos. No, no digo que la gente que están allá no son israelitas. You saw the light. Yeah. Viste la luz, viste la luz. Give him the page. You were brought to the light. Give him the light. Apurando el día, GMS apurando el día. Oh, pa. Tú tienes un bolígrafo y un papelito. Para darte el YouTube. La página de YouTube, si es apurando el día. GMS. GMS apurando el día. Sí. Tu teléfono, el teléfono. Yeah. Here you go. So, you know about Bab you know about Babylon in the Bible? Babylon? Yeah. This is Babylon. Amer America is Babylon. Babylon. Yep. 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 It's going to be this. I got a quick precept. Matthew 5 and 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So this is the light. And, and, and uh, you know, we shine in that light. Yeah. And my man Lewis says his name means light, yeah. so we saw the light. I want Rodolfo. Rodolfo Rudolph. Rudolph. I don't know. Rudolph. Okay. Rudolph. I don't That's know. a reindeer. Rodolfo. <laughs> Tell, ask him about Lucifer. You know, you know what Lucifer no. is? See, see how Lucifer is? No, I'm not Lucifer. Yeah. But you know what? But you know what? But, but. Dile que Lucifer era un ángel. Pero eso, 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 eso es algo que le di, dijeron en la, en la escuela. Pero Luz, Lucero es un hombre. O, y, o, y, si, él, 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 um, ¿Cómo él se llama? Tú sabes que el que el mundo llama Jesús también es Lucero. Sí, sí, he said, he said it. He said he, he's a, he's a, 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 like the light also. Bearer of light. Es diferente. Sí, sí, el enemigo. Enemigo. Pero antes de ser enemigo, dije, era como el, 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 el general de, del, del reino. Dije, pero eso es lo que dicen. Pero se, se llenó de envidia y de cosas y quería ser como Eso Dios. no está en la escritura, papá. Eso es algo, que le, eso es algo en la teología que está enseñando en la pero religión. Te voy a decir algo. Yo más creo en Jesús y en Dios. Pues está bueno entonces. entonces está bueno. No, me vengan con María, ni José, ni no, no. no. Eso. Eso, eso es el, el, el Señor y su Hijo. Que su nombre es Yahawa, el, señor, el nombre del Señor, y su, y, y su hijo es Yahawah Shai. No, yeah, because you know, he's caught up into that religion, you know, with the Oye, Lucifer. No, 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 You know, he said, he said, don't bring, don't bring me that Mary stuff and that Joseph stuff and none of that. I just believe in God and his son. So, but you know, he's, he, he's uh, uh, caught up in that Lucifer thing that he's thinking that Lucifer, because he said he was a general of the, of the armies or something like that. And then he, he was cast it down. Well, I knew he was, I knew he was yeah. saying that. I knew he was saying that because I, yeah. I spoke about it in the video. Come. Did, yep, yep. That's that Christian dogma. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You know? And you know what dogma means? It's you hear a, that word dogma, it means uh, decree. Decree, and, decree. And when you go to the Greek, the word there is decree. decree. In other words, this is what it means, don't right. question it. Right, 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 right. So that's what that's what um Vocab Malone does. Right. right. He's he's bringing that Christian dogma. Right, right. You know? It's not even from the scriptures, it's just a dogma. It's just dogma. Right. Yeah. Because they say it. You know? Right. Yeah, because what and they they'll do... call you a heret a heretic. Yep. You're guilty of a heresy. Right. Because right. you're not going well the, the, the whole uh Inquisition was all about, it was established religion. If you if you taught something outside of the established authorities, 
Yo, we gonna we gonna burn you, man. Yeah, right. We gonna hang you. We gonna burn you. And that's why they were killing. That was one of the reasons why they were killing the the the, the Latin, so-called Latin tribe. Yeah. Because they weren't accepting their white Jesus. Right. Or well, Hatwe, Kesika Hatwe. He said, "Look, they, they, when, the, when they were about to burn him, the, the priest came to him and said, "Look, do you accept Jesus Christ? You want to go to heaven?" He said, "Are, are these conquistadors going to be there?" He said, "No." I said, "Well, I rather go to the other place. You know, you don't want to be anywhere where they're going to be at." Yeah, man, you can't stop this truth, man. Yeah. Like I said in a couple of videos, I always bring up Vocab's name, and you got to give it to Vocab. He be he be putting their work. He's diligent in his wickedness, you know. But he, but God. you, how can you compete against thousands of thousands of, of videos, man? You know, for every one video you do, there's a, there's a thousand videos being made. You know what I'm saying? So you're you're fighting a losing battle. You're clearly fighting a losing battle. Where we at? Um, did you still want to read yes. Ezekiel th uh, three? Oh no, he's still reading. Well, he, he, he left. I'm sorry. Can, okay, thirty-seven. All right, so anybody got anything? Well, I had um, Isaiah, the 34th chapter I wanted to get into because prior to him coming, pretty much he was going into what's going to happen to them Alamakites and to all these Edomites and, and, and that America is the big uh, altar. So let me go to um, Isaiah, the 34th chapter in the first verse. It, it says, Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses and the mountains shall be melted with their blood and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, which is the, the, the uh, mushroom, the mushroom cloud that the thermonuclear missiles are gonna uh, create after they hit ground zero. And the, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down, as the leaf falleth off from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. And the word Idumia is, is the Greek form of saying uh, Edom. Yep. You know, which that's what we're trying to tell them. And he's saying, what, uh, what good does it do me? You telling me I'm an Edomite. Well, we're telling you we are appointed. Our job is to, we are appointed to go to the nations to tell them their future. God, I got you, know? you. I got you right quick. Yep. Jeremiah one and five. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. God. Right. Yeah, so we got to tell the nations who they are. Yeah, we got jobs. Because that's how the Most High set it up. Yeah. God. So don't get mad at us. Don't don't shoot the messenger, so to speak. Get mad at at the one who sent them. Look, you wouldn't know that you're going to slavery, man. Eh? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's what he's saying. What good is that going to do me? So you can well, know. You want to know. You yeah. want to know. At least you can get ready. You can enjoy yourself on this side. Yeah. Right. You can brace yourself for that. Yeah, you can brace yourself. You can enjoy yourself. You know, you know, fulfill, you know, fulfill that bucket list. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, in the kingdom, man, you're going to get your ass kicked. Yeah, day in, day. can't see in the morning, you can't see. That's it. I got a quick precept since you said that. Uh, Lamentations 4 and 22. It says, uh, well, Lamentations 4 and 21. And also that we may go into the gate to the north. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. And that drunkenness is what? These philosophies, man. You believe in that all is well with the world. You're gonna go back to the land of Israel. You know you're you're gonna you're gonna have a college fund, a college fund for your children. You know, you know you're planning on moving to the West Coast, or you're planning to move to Mexico, or whatever, but it's cheaper. You know you got all these plans, but your plans are gonna be interrupted. Yep. Yeah, that part. Like I said, people are not ready for what's getting ready to come, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that part where it says, "Thou shalt thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked." Now, naked usually represents being ashamed. So all 
Esau's uh, wickedness is coming out. So that's what? Bringing shame upon him. Yeah. A uh, shameful spewing. Shameful spewing right. shall be upon that glory. Right. So that, that links up with that. Uh, then reading on, it says, so you making yourself naked, meaning your shame is being seen, Esau. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do. You're trying to sweep it on, like slavery. You're trying to take it out the history books. Time. But slavery is a shameful part of your of your history past. Yep. And you can't just wipe it away for edict. You can't sweep it under the rug. It's, it's right there, and you're going to have to deal with it, Esau. Yeah. You can't slavery. just yank it out. You can't just yank it out. You can't just wipe it away with it. Edict. Edict. That's yeah, why yeah. I said it. <laughs> hey, hey, well, like but for a... edict, that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. Wipe away. Well, 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 I was in the past. Let bygones be all the... Oh, well, there's a scripture for the past. Yeah, Ecclesiastes. You know Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes uh, 3, verse 15. Yeah, you're coming up with all those edicts. You, like I said, <laughs> like Burgess said, you can't wipe away slavery with an edict, man. You can't do it, man. That's a, that's a, that's a topic right there. You can't wipe away slavery with an edict. You can't do Just it. Because you said you ain't going to slavery doesn't mean you're not that you're not going to slavery. Right. right. Now you're trying to say it never. Because oh. the most high is over you. He's above you. He yeah. made you. I keep telling you that. Right. Yeah, you got some of you either might say that our forefathers uh, uh, willed themselves into slavery. Right. Brought they, they, they just offered themselves yeah, 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 into slavery. Right. You know, the most high put us into slavery. That's the new thing now. You know, our forefathers just offered themselves into slavery. <laughs> Here I am, take me, I'm a slave. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, you so. I don't think so. You got it. Uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. Bottom line is, Esau, you ain't got it. You know what's going no. on. The only thing you can do is give it up and turn it loose. That's, That's it. it. That's okay? it. Oh, we going to... The saints of the most You've been long enough now. Stop being greedy. <laughs> That's it. Keep it real, partner. <laughs> Keep it real, partner. This is why you demonize us, <laughs> man. Give to the needy. Give to the needy. Ribs are touching. Don't make us wait. <laughs> In the immortal words of DMX. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which hath been is now, Ooh. and that which is to be hath already been. And the heavenly father require of that which is past. You got to pay for the past. Yeah. You can't say, well, let by go and be, oh, that was the past. You got to pay for the past. God. I got you, Apostle. If you think wickedness is going to come up, it's going to come up and bite you in the ass. It's going to bite you in your red, hairy ass. Uh, Jeremiah 49 and 16. <laughs> what is that? What's that? Jeremiah 49 and 12. And that, why you think Uzzah ben, ben Dragon made that? <laughs> Those words cut harder than, than steel. steel. Yeah, yeah, cut, cut. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, words, man. Yeah, because he made a promise. He said, whatever comes out of that lust, and I'm going to yep, take it. Yep, yep. And then the time came to give it up, and he took it, you know? Yep. He didn't want to give it he up. He didn't want to give it up, man. Yeah. He said, this is you, Esau. You don't want to go into captivity. That's right. But you ain't going to be alone. You know, you're going to have company. You're going to have company. Your mother, your mother nation. Company. Uh, Jeremiah 49 and 12. For thus saith the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. That's us. We, we, we were drawing the people in the most part. We were just getting punished. That's right. But guess what? So just one, give me that. Just, just one. Oh, and kick. kick. There's a little kick. more. Go ahead. Uh, uh, have assuredly drunken, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Hmm. Talking about you, Esau. Oh, the old saying, uh, the, the saying that uh, uh, this guy, uh, 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 Charles Manson's father told him, Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said, you did, you did the crime, boy. Well, <laughs> damn it, do the time. Do the time. Yep. Well, Esau, you did the crime. Are you ready to do the time? Nope. There's nope. certain people out there, there's certain criminal elements out there that they'll do crimes and they know that if they get caught, they're going to do some time and they're fine with that. Yeah. And then when they, when they, when they do their time, they become a better criminal. Yeah. Then they go out and they go, as soon as they go out, they're committing crimes again. Then yeah. they go back in and they, who they going to meet? Their mothers. I mean, not the mothers, the cousins, the nephews, maybe their fathers, man. Yeah, Esau, you couldn't tell those criminals, uh, pay your debt to society. When you gonna pay your debt, Esau? Right, right, yeah. right, right. Pay, your, pay your debt to society. <laughs> when you gonna pay your debt? You're a fugitive yeah. from paying your debt, man. Debt, debt. I'm gonna finish reading this verse. Yeah. And I doubt he that shall You made that compact with Satan. Yeah. yeah. And I doubt he, this is the most high speaking, <laughs> through the prophet Jeremiah, he asking you a question. And I doubt he, that shall altogether go unpunished, thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Mm. I mean, you're going to pay your debt, man. That's right. And you're going to pay your debt to us in the kingdom. That's a thousand years That's of slavery. That's why they say that they're not, oh, the Edomites have done away with 
There's no such thing as eat. Right. No, the eating might sit pat. We don't know where they at. You know? Oh well, we know where they at. You might not know, but we know. Okay. I got a precept, Apostle. Go ahead. This is Exodus 21, verse 16. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him, mm. or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. Yeah, we're still found in what, your what hand. What does that mean, Esau? Yeah. Huh? Yep. Yeah. Furthermore, and that what's that movie with uh, Ch Chiwetel? Just before? Was that movie? Uh, he, 12, 12 Years of Slave? 12 Years of Slave? Oh, yeah. is, it, is it 12 Years of Slave? Or is it 13? 12 Years of Slave, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Slave, yeah. yeah, yeah. there's a scene in the movie yeah. where Esau, you were doing your wickedness, and one of the slaves said, by God, there shall be a day of recompense for this. Mm. That was the that was the Lord, the spirit of the Lord crying through the slaves, letting you know, Esau, back then, there's gonna be a day when you're gonna have to pay for all this wicked shit yeah. you're doing. Right. So now guess what? That day fast approaches, man. Yeah. And and back then you had a lot of uprisings from jail because they were tired of the mistreatment, but there was nothing that they could do because the Lord said that no man shall save you. And the they, Lord they caused also the said there shall be no power in thine hand, there shall be no uh, might. That, in thy right. hand. That's right. At the time Esau was yep. doing all that yep. bullshit, you know. Because eventually it had to be the Lord to, to bring Esau down and to deliver us, to give us the salvation. Because nobody else was able to do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, well, hence, uh, hence uh, Ezekiel 37 chapter. Gone. Gone. I love that. I love that, that, that scripture. Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it also said, no man shall buy thee. What does that mean? No man shall save thee. That's right. And then Yahweh Shai said by the prophet Isaiah, you ain't coming back as a man. He yeah. said, I shall not meet thee as a man. That's right. So how is he coming back? As, as this power. As this power, this yeah. great power with the angels, man. Right, in his glory. And to bring judgment. And he's coming with the angels. One of the angels he's coming with is Michael. You know what Michael means? Who is like the power? Michael the archangel, man. How? Oh. Michael ain't coming to tickle you, Edomites, man. Michael is coming to get up Stab, in that ass. Not yeah. Stab, not Michael is coming to get get up in that ass, man. Hey, now they're bringing that, that COVID-19 down here to Mexico, man. Yeah, yeah. They're locking shit down. Yep. Man, them Instagram oh, yep, man, yep. They, got, so they, got, oh, they got something over you on you, Jake. Yeah. You done lost your power, man. Yeah. It's a call, man. It was, I got one video. I saw, yeah. And the, the, dude, the, the dude was on a bike, a police yeah. officer, the dude just put some fucking fire on his ass. Light, oh, yeah, yeah. Some, a lighter, you call that gas or whatever? Yep. yep. Lighter through it and just split his ass off. And the motherfucker felt the heat. Yep. You know, what the fuck? You know, old shit. <laughs> yep. Old and shit. Yep. Then they actually went to a Catholic church and they bashed that shit in. Yeah. Because years ago, Me the Mexican, they had a great love for the Catholic church. Guess what? They ain't no that fucking yep. Roman Catholic church yeah. anymore. Yeah. Because years ago they had a parade somewhere, I believe it was Barcelona, Spain. Because a lot of the people in Boston, Spain, are Israelites, man. Con. You have the Gadites, you have the Moors. So yep. A lot of those people are, are, are Israelites. But they had a statue, I believe it was in Barcelona, Spain, where they had they, they tore down a, a, a statue of Columbus and they put a noose around their neck and his neck and they dragged it into the street. street. Yeah, yeah. So that that is them Latin tribes, man. They know your history too. Yeah. They know your history too. And a lot of those people now that are grown up, a lot of them are probably molested by them priests in the Catholic Church. So the truth is coming out, yeah. man. All the you things know? that Esau searched out. Yep. I, I, got, a, I got a I got a quick yeah, one. Yeah. Colossians 3:25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done, and there is no respect of persons. I got a quick precept. Uh Daniel, this is what's coming for you, Esau. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time, Michael. Who's this Michael? Michael Jackson? Nope. <laughs> Mike Tyson. Michael Jordan? Nah, Michael the Archangel of War, man. He's coming with you, Howard Shai. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. That's the Israelites. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Yeah. And you know that time of trouble is really going to culminate when Yahweh Shai comes with those angels. In other words, when Yahweh Shai comes with those angels, that's real trouble, man. That's when the trouble really begins because Yahweh Shai, he, man, Yahweh Shai is going to get loose. He's coming to bring the pain. He said he said he, he said he cries as a, a, a travailing woman. Yeah. So he he is going to bring some serious destruction. 
And you Edomites, you're going to bear witness to it. And he's coming with the archangels. This, young brother, come, yeah. this is Deuteronomy 32 and 41. If I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to mine enemies and will reward them. What verse are you? I'm sorry. Deuteronomy 32 and 41. And will reward them that hate me. I will make mine arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of revenges upon the enemy. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. And that's, and that's why the Lord is bringing the, the, the pain on, the, on these devils because of what they did to, to Jake. I got a quick one. It's Isaiah 34 and 8. For it is I was a, already thinking about that one. Okay. As soon as he read that one, that, that perfect match. Con. You mentioned the sword. Con. You know? This is uh, verse 8. It says, For it is a day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of the recompenses for the controversy. Oh, yeah. The Lord's vengeance. Vengeance against who? Vengeance against the Edomites yep. and vengeance against two thirds of Israel. Because you had a lot of you Israelites back then when Yahushua was on the cross, you made fun of Yahushua. You know, you, you, you said words like, uh, uh, kill him and let his, his, his uh, blood be, on, on blood us be upon us and our children. Yeah. Oh, he saved others. Let him come down off the cross and save save himself. So all you Israelites that, that said that back then, more than 2,000 years ago, guess what? You back here now. Getting ready to get a chip. So when Yahweh Shai, right. So when Yahweh Shai comes back, chip. is he going to hug you? No, Yahweh Shai is going to destroy you, man. Yep. He's, he's going to stab, not tickle. That's right. Yahweh Shai is going to destroy you, man. Because yep. more than 2,000 years ago, you, you made those statements. And every last one of you were marked. All right? Yep. The well, angels marked every... They, they didn't get you done? Yeah. The next reincarnation... They got you in 70 AD. And you so might say. The next reincarnation on slave. You people right. that were hung on trees. Yep. Those, a lot of y'all were the people that was out there. Yep. Some of y'all were the people that was out there that yep. said, it says crucify him and let his blood be on upon us. It is. Yep. You put a curse on yourself and it your is. children. Yep. That's Would it. you put a double curse on you because you and your children are your children coming back? Right. That's yep. it. Yep. And that's something that a Christian <laughs> can't, can't get. get. Yep. That's it. That's it. It says. For it is a day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. And, and another thing too, there, there are going to be more more people destroyed, killed, than delivered. So think about that. There, there are going to be more. That's why the scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Why? Because there are going to be more people killed than delivered. You got Isaiah 66. Me. It's Isaiah 66 and 15. Yep. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. Those are the so-called UFOs, right along with the angels. One of those angels is going to be Michael the Archangel. That's why we read the prophecy in Daniel 12 and 1. Go ahead. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Fire coming from those missiles and the chariots. That's why this place is going to be turned into a, a lake of fire. You people that's in the church, when you read about the lake of fire, it's talking about America, man. This whole place being a lake of fire. You got it, bro. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, Go on. and the slain of the Lord shall be many. That's it. The slain of the Lord shall be many. So many more people are going to die than be saved. Right? I must and that's why, uh, yeah, and that's why we're so diligent, because we don't want to be of that group that's going to die. We want to we want to make it through. we look the scripture said knowing the terror of the Lord we persuade men the brother just read you the terror of the Lord that's what he's coming with terror so we're trying to make it out of here man by our works man yeah yeah second is eight and one and he answered me saying the most high have made this world for many but the world to come for few it is I got, I got one real quick Jeremiah chapter 50 <laughs> verse 11 because you were glad because you rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage, because you are grown fat as a heifer at grass and bellow as bulls. Then you had the wicked chief priests that sold, that gave Yahweh Shai up. The wicked, what about them cats? Those guys are back today. Yohanna, Yohanna is one of them. You were one of those wicked chief priests back there that sold Yahweh Shai, sold out Yahweh Shai, man. We see right through you, man. You know? Oh, somebody hold Jeremiah 51. Oh, man, I got it right here. 
You got to start. You got to read the whole. The top, okay. I mean, I'm not, not Jeremiah 51, Jeremiah 50. 50, okay, I was. But I mean, if you were in 51, go ahead. No, I got 50. Okay, okay. Start so go ahead. The... Um, um, yeah. And when, 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 when um, Christian, uh, uh, what do you call that, comment, uh, commentary? Commentary, yep. Yeah. They'll say it's talking about ancient Babylon. Man, when you read them two chapters, man, and those are some of my two favorite chapters, it's talking about America, man. <coughs> And this this book is beautiful because anybody can get this book and open up this book, but can but can it be unsealed to you? Yeah. And then what's more beautiful is we're telling you what the book means, but you refuse it. No, nah, they ain't talking about that. Right. And what is it talking about? You don't know what it's talking about. Nah. No, nah. he's gonna, go ahead. <laughs> no, they ain't gonna make it. <laughs> Jeremiah 50 and 1. The word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Okay. And that's exactly what that is, noise. What the fuck is that? That's, that's what the music's been reduced to. That's demon music. The daughters of music shall be brought low. Yep. Hey, you played that back in the day, man. You get shot, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You got, you got it. All right, go ahead, go ahead. All right, Jeremiah 15, 1. There you go. The word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah. Yeah, the give me that in uh, Lamentation music. Oh, oh, music. Oh, look at that, triple four. Because yeah, this is not, this is not, that's not music. Uh, that's Hell not no. music, man. Hell no. That's bullshit. That's noise. It's madness. It's blasphemy. Blasphemy, it's madness. It's madness. It's madness. Uh, uh, what's his name? He wouldn't like that music. Bill the Butcher. Oh, yeah, Bill the Turn Butcher. that heathenness. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the, and the grinders cease, because they are few, and those that look out the windows be darkened. And the door shall be shut in the And that streets. happened within the last, oh, yeah. since March. Oh, yeah. And they said, no, no, we can't, we can't go to work no more. We only, we only dealing with essential workers and shit. So the, so the uh, unemployment rate has jumped up sky high. Absolutely. <coughs> and, and all across America, certain cities, they're just boarding up. Like San Francisco, man, I saw a video. They're just throwing up planks of wood on, on certain businesses. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. throwing it up there. Yeah. What's up with those businesses? They're, they're not, they're, they're out of business. That's what's up. Yeah. And when you, hey, you know what, when you are out of business, and you have, you have a bad week, that's one thing, you have a bad two weeks, that's another thing. You got a bad three months, you, know, you ain't coming back because you got to pay the landlord, yeah. or, uh, you know, his, his rent and all that, yeah. you know? Yeah, the oh, bills yeah. don't stop. The bills don't stop, man. Reading on, it says, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. The sound of the grinding is low right now. Go ahead. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Yeah, that crap that we listen to ain't music. That's no. noise. That's noise, man. Even that guy that sung that song, what's his name? Give me that old time rock and roll. And back in the day, rock and roll, you know, even when Edom might play, there were a lot of music. Yeah. Oh, Bob Seger? Bob Seger. Give me that old time rock, rock and roll. Yeah. You know? Oh, man, yeah. He said, he, he made that song at the time of disco. It's back then, disco yeah, yeah, yeah. was frowned disco, upon. Yeah, yeah, disco, yeah. Yeah, disco was frowned upon and, and looked down, so he made that song. <laughs> Give me that old time rock and roll. You got it. Uh, Amos 5 and 23. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vows. That's it. That's it. And that's also in uh, Revelation the 18th chapter. They're, 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 they're not going to have no more music. They're not going to have anything. Oh, yeah. You know? The mirth of the land is gone. The mirth of the land is gone. Yeah. Go ahead. Can, can, can you finish reading the lamentation. You got more lamentation now. That's it. Okay, okay. Let's go Jer back. Jeremiah 50. All right, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 2. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. That's what we're doing. Yep. It says, publish and conceal not. Declare ye among the nations. Yep. <laughs> nations be everybody. Yep. yep. Like earlier, we had a couple of Edomites come up. 
So we declared unto them, did we yeah, not the declare? The Most High didn't just want us to teach the Israelites, but that's the main group who we're teaching all nations. We're right. telling all nations who they are. Yeah, beginning of Apostle Ty, he declared unto them the truth. Right. Even though the guy said, how does that benefit you? Well, in time- It doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> but in time, he gonna, it's gonna benefit him. At least he's gonna say, well, at least I was shown the truth. Yep. <laughs> They yeah. did show me the truth. They can't say they weren't warned. They can't say they weren't warned. Yeah, but Esau got some nerve. They already benefited. America was their kingdom of heaven. You already benefit. They still want more. That's why in, in Habakkuk it says that. Can never have enough. Can never, can have never enough. be nothing. Can never be satisfied. Right, can never be satisfied. You get that too. Exactly. You get the scriptures got yep. you cold, man. They got you cold, Esau. You know, the scriptures got no you way, cold. There's no, there's no way out of this, man. Yep. See, and, and had all this been known way back when, Esau would have burned these Bibles, you know? And well, that's tried why. To. Right. Tried to. Right. Napoleon too tried to, right? I think. But that's why that's why the Lord didn't put America in the Bible and certain things like that. He used code, you know? Yeah, look up code. Go to Google and look up code. Because the Bible is codified. Codified. Yeah. Right. You gotta have keys. You know, you play them video games, you have them keys. Yeah, yeah come. Get through certain things, come. but we got the keys. And oh, we're you giving you the keys and you you throwing the keys away. Yeah. You're losing the goddamn keys. Oh, you back know? in the day used to they used to speak in Morse code. Yeah. Now yeah. why would they speak in Morse code? So right. you wouldn't you have to decipher that all that dots. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You'd have to decipher. Which they learned what, that from what, God. Yeah, you'd have to decipher what that means. Yep. Yeah, they had a movie out. Woo! About Jan in World War II, they were called the Cold Breakers. Wind Talkers. Wind Talkers, thank you. Wind, uh, the new wind. <coughs> but that was based on a true story with the, the Gaddites. They were the only ones that break those codes, man. Why? Because they're Israelites. Where we at? Uh, definition of code. It says a system of words, letters, figures, and other symbols substituted for, for other words. Oh, wow. Wow, that's in the whole life. This is when, when you come across the world of Babylon, depending on what you want to speak to, right. you can be talking about ancient Babylon, or you can be talking about the world. Right. 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 Uh, metaphors. Sounds like a I'm parable metaphor, to me. Right. Right. I, I got one real quick. Code. Yeah, more? No, I mean, that's pretty much the okay. gist. Okay. It says a coding system used for transmitting messages requiring brevity or secrecy. Check that out. I got I got a precept. On what secrecy? Yeah, it says a coding system used for transmitting messages <laughs> requiring brevity or secrecy. Well, you know what I want, Amos. Amos 3. Uh, I got yeah. a quick precept for you. Uh, Psalm yeah, 78 yeah. 2. I will open my mouth in a hey, parable. I'm sorry, y'all. If, mm -hmm. if you can't, I can't get it. I can't see what you see. You know why <coughs> you can't see what you see? Because you, you can't break the code. Yeah. Yeah. Break the you code. don't have the keys. Right. You know? Uh, I saw. And, uh, what was that? 16? Yeah. Revelation. Oh, the apostle said the keys. Um, what does that remind you of? Uh, apostle Peter. Yeah, I I told Apostle Peter, I'll give you the keys to the kingdom. What does that mean? Meaning, I'll give you the knowledge. I'll give you the knowledge. Give you the codes. Yeah, give you the codes. Yeah. Break it down. Uh, quick precept, Psalm 78 and 2. I will open my mouth in the parable. I will utter dark sayings of old. And I looked up that word parable. It means added speech. Like para means uh, uh, added. Verbal means speech. Oh, right, right. Mm. Added speech. Yeah. Added right. speech. Right. Like so, paragraph. Yeah. Added words, right? Or something like that. Yeah, so a parable is words that's added right. to hit to hide the meaning. Right. So you don't get the meaning. Right. Verbal is word, you know. Yep. Speech. Verbal. Yep. Variable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Added speech. The, the word literally means added speech. Yeah, because the scriptures are really meant to be a, a secret. Yeah, you know, and and not everybody's gonna get it. That's why y'all wish I told them, for it is given unto you. Oh, you got it. You got it. This is Matthew 13 and 10. I'm gonna start at verse 9. Who have ears to hear? Let them hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, to know the codes. Right, right, right. To know the codes. Right. Go ahead. Like vocab. Vocab, my oh, man. <laughs> codes. Said, vocab, you don't, you don't know the codes, man. Codes wasn't we given. We've been giving you the codes, and you still can't see, man. Yeah. You pay for the wrong codes, man. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We're trying to put <laughs> the codes. Yeah. codes. 
you're trying to put the codes in your hand, but the codes is too hot. You can't grab. You, yeah. can't, you can't hold on to them codes, man. It's too high powered. But to it's them, too hot for you. But to them, it is not given. Mm. Like vocab, like you vocab, it ain't given, man. Yeah, this can't be purchased. What did uh, the, uh, what was that? Was that um, the Apostle Paul? Was that the Apostle Peter? When uh, uh Simon Bar Jesus tried to uh buy the the uh oh, right. try to Peter. It was Peter, Peter yeah, and right. then they told him your money perished with you right. yep. because you thought that the Holy Spirit could be bought by right. money. With you know, price. you can't you you can't buy this with a price. The price of buying is first of all got to be given you by your right. Hashem Shai, and the price is you 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 the you the uh sacrifice. Oh, the price of buying it can't be topped. That was your Shai on the cross. That That's was it. the price. Right. How you gonna top that? Come. How you gonna top your Howard Shai being on the cross? You can't top that price. Right? No man cometh to me except the Father which is in heaven drawn. First of all, Howard Shai was perfect. He didn't, he didn't have one sin. Woo. Then he sacrificed himself on the cross. Right. You cannot top that price. No? <laughs> I, have a, I have a precept. Right? Oh, out of all that thou has given me, I had lost none. Right. I got a precept. This is uh, Isaiah 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No, no, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. You have major prophecy that's getting ready to take place. And I keep saying that the mark of the beast being a microchip. There's no other book. There's no other <coughs> book on the planet Earth right. that speaks about the mark of the beast being a microchip. This is the only book. And then every version of uh, the Bible says the same thing. We went through that last week. Go ahead. It says, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. And and he hath cast the lot for them. The them is talking about the prophets. You know, it, they, they always came back in their lot. Always. This generation, this generation, this generation passes, the next one comes, they come back. That one passes. And then every generation is gonna back. be prophets, it's gonna come with it. Right. Yeah, yeah. And he hath cast the lot for them. And his hand had divided it unto them by line. Isaiah got a certain amount of books. Jeremiah got a certain amount of books. Mm -hmm. Obadiah got one book. Joel got a couple of books. They shall possess it forever. We got it now. Yep. We got it 2,000 years ago, yep. 3,000 years ago, yep. 4,000 years ago. Yeah. And here we are reading it. Here we are reading it again. Yep. Yeah, because back at the main school, they used to say, oh, all well, the white man had to hold the Bible so oh, while right. we went into captivity right. and slavery, right. which, is, which was a, a wise, old wives' tale. Right. That was a fable. We've always had the word. Anybody want water? Mm -hmm. Maybe this brother. We got some water. The water. The water. The water. Yeah, brother, yeah, yeah. It says, the water, from brother. generation to generation. And that's why they use that, that fable. Hey, sure. Cornelius had to hold the Bible while we went into captivity. Cornelius was an Edomite that had to hold the Bible. That's why it was given to him while we went into captivity. No, that's a fable. Cornelius himself was an Israelite. And plus, we've always had the word. Yep. He just said it. He just read it. He said, they shall hold me from generation to generation. generation, to generation. And this is our Luke 1 and 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which, he been, which, he, which have been since the world began. So since the beginning of the world, you had prophets coming back. You know? You got some? Yeah. This is uh, Baruch 4.1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Mm. Read that again. It says, this is the book of the commandments of the Most High. Where you at? Baruch 4.1. This is the commandments. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High. And the law that endureth forever. Yep. The law that endureth forever. Right, there you go. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Two thirds of our people, you left it. Yeah. That's why you're gonna die. I got this is our second Peter 1 and 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. Until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but the holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. 
And these are the prophets that have been right. from the beginning of the world. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Matter of fact, Please Psalms somebody called, 68 called on and, and 11, it says, The Lord gave the word. Please know about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, come on, that, that don't sound like it. Come on, come on. It says, The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Yeah, publish it, meaning to speak it. To, like when we go out on the street, and that's the platform. Uh, Proverbs, the first chapter. Wisdom cry without the other from voice in the street. So we're publishing the word. We're putting it out there. Like a publishment, a magazine that's published is put out to the public. Yep. Uh, I think the word public means people. people from the yeah, Latin meaning. Yeah, people. Public, yeah. yeah. Res publica, the people thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah con, con. Uh, you know. Yeah, no, yeah. I learned that from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned that from you. Many years ago. What does the public mean? The public the people yeah. yeah, the people say See, that's why now you had those certain groups that made fun of us because we get into the different languages. That's key, man. Getting into different languages, the Hebrew, the Greek, the Latin. That's how you learn words. You learn the etymology of words, the meaning of words. That's that hidden oil that the scriptures speak about that the Lord gave to the wise virgins. Yep. They had that oil. Part of that oil is going into words, learning words. Like case in point, the word uh, Passover, I'm sorry, Easter. In Acts 12 and 4, you see the word Easter. From now, the Greek Messiah. Yeah. Messiah go back to Passover. Exactly. So, so if you're there's a cut right there for these crazy people to fuck out Christians, man. Yeah. That's it. How come they don't worship Easter? Well, they do worship Easter. Because they ain't worshiping the Passover. Oh, no. funny. Speaking of the Passover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I asked you, you got you. Boy, you got three more days. I assume you became. Man, my man got three more days. Let's we'll see what we're going to come up with now. But they got, they got to wear the mask, right? It's true. And then have uh, social distancing. So I got They're going to have to wear the mask and have social distancing. It just, well, that doesn't make it. Well, we'll see. Hey, but you know what? You got to go with this. You got to go with the spirit, man. <laughs> you can't go by your spirit. You got to go with this spirit. Right. The spirit. You got to do something. Oh, and, and um. You was holding uh, uh, Jeremiah 50, right? You can go to Jeremiah 50 and Jeremiah 51. Right. You got the precept up? Go ahead. Awesome. Jeremiah 4 and 16. Make ye mention to the nations. Behold, publish against Jerusalem that watchers come from a far country and give out their voices against the cities of Jerusalem. This is Jeremiah 4 not and 16. A, not a confusion. Make ye mention to the nations. Yep. Behold, publish against Jerusalem that watchers come from a far country and give out their voice against the cities of Judah. That's it. Where we at? But it's easy, but it's not people listen. That's true. Very easy. That's it. Yeah, see? Right. Very right. Right. easy. All the lot of people in America, in New York, big on Bible. It's close eyes. Yeah, that's, that's, right, that's right, that's right. Close yeah, that's right. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. It's very easy. That's, that's it. That's very it. Very easy. Very easy. Simple, very easy. simple. And that's the topic. It's very, that's very easy. easy. That's the topic. That's the topic. That's the Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. right. That's right. Give me that the simplicity of your house. The simplicity of your house. The simplicity of your house. That's it. That's right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. That's right. You're right. Thank you. This is um. That's the spirit. Second Corinthians eleven and three. But I fear, at least by any means, as a serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in your house. Very simple. Very easy. Very easy. That's right. I got a precept since since that happened. She said, "People in America, people in America." He says, "Very easy." Very easy. Very easy. They don't listen. I got a precept, uh, Acts 2 and 17, and it shall come to pass in the last days, saith the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your yep. sons and your daughters shall prophesy. That includes Esau. <clears throat> yeah, she just and prophesied. And Israelites, yeah. the, the only people that have been coming to us is yep. Edomites. And she said. to be Edomites. That's right. She sounded like an Eastern European. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Russian, Russian, yeah. Probably Russian, Polish. Russian, 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 yeah, Polish, yeah. Russian. And she said what she had to say and she left. That's it. So the most high poured his spirit upon her. Like it says here, Acts 2 and 17. And she stood there and listened for about a good half an hour. Right. She yeah. said what she had to say and said she left. That's, That's it. right. 
And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And then, then she went, then she went, not you, God, God. In other words, don't get, <laughs> don't get proud. It's right. not you, that's it's it. God, it's, it's God. It. Well, that's where the inspiration comes from. Yeah. All script is given by inspiration of the Most High. If it wasn't for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, ain't no goddamn way we'd be here teaching this word. Yeah. We're inspired by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He's the one that gives us the inspiration. Yeah. He puts the spirit on us, the energy on us. That daily loads us with, with what? With uh, with uh, gifts or something like that? Yeah, different gifts. Yeah. 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 Uh, Acts 2 and 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And we just witnessed that with that woman. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And that's primarily talking about Israelites, but it can also be talking about these other nations. All flesh. All, all flesh. flesh. Hey, did the Most High give visions to other nations? Yeah. He gave it to uh, uh, Balaam. Uh, Balaam. Uh, well, Balaam, I was going to say. Okay. Yeah. Um, Balaam. Um, he gave it to uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. He made a donkey talk. He made a donkey talk. <laughs> yeah. the, the king of Egypt at that time, during the time of yep. Abraham, he came in with a dream. Yep. He touches this man's wife. He's going to be put to death. Yeah. Uh, back then, that's what the Egyptians feared the most high. They knew that there was that one terrible power. Then you had the Pharaoh that had a dream about the famine and the plenteous. Right there, exactly. You know? exactly. Yep. I got a quick precept. Psalm 68, 19, blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the power of our salvation. So that's 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 right. I think the young brother got it. Go ahead. Um, it says, Psalm 68, 19, blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth Oh, you know, losing your touch, brother. You used to be quick with them stuff, you didn't have it, huh? You used to be beautiful, man. You know we don't This is Psalms 105, and I'm going to start at the top. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, Yahweh. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. There you go. Okay, Max Strong. Woo! Bam! It says, sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. That's it. That's what we're doing. Yeah, when we teach his word, we're singing. We're actually singing. Not like Paul Kirsten. Oh, man, that dude. <laughs> Who? Hey, when we're going to see you in action, Paul? Oh, no, not Paul. that guy. Me, Maria. When we're going to see you in action, man? We got a greater well, chance. Well, he's always in action. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Kind of, I mean, in the he's real action. Popping, popping shit. Yeah, he's on fire yeah. for popping shit. We, we got a greater chance seeing Charles Bronson in action. Damn. And, and, and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> So where we at? <laughs> um, I read Psalm 68. Anybody has something? Uh, no. If not, go to Jeremiah. Go to Jeremiah. Back to Jeremiah. All right, Jeremiah chapter 50 and the end of 2. It says, um, okay, run one again. The word of the Lord spake, uh, the word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. And you will find out, you scholars out there, that, uh, this ain't talking about ancient Babylon, right? Okay. Talking about the new Babylon. Neo Babylon. Neo Babylon. Also known as the daughter of Babylon. Go ahead. Declare ye among the nations. Uh, 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 declare, <laughs> why did I gotta know? What, how does it benefit me? It, it don't benefit you. You just gotta know. But the most I said, declare among the nations. And there goes, there goes this, your, our favorite demon. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the, the same musical, guy? The musical people. Go ahead. And publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Oh, Say, oh ooh, conceal. Ooh, 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 ooh. We forgot about that. Like no jumping. napkins, no napkins. <laughs> that's it. And publish and conceal not. What does it mean to publish? Make it, it public. Don't mean to write a book and go to a publishing company. It means make it, make it open to the public. Yeah. All right, Teach preach. It. Yeah, preach it. This word shall be preached throughout um, the four throughout corners. The world, four corners. Four corners. All throughout the whole world, and then the end shall come. Yep. So this thing's got to be published. In season, out of season. In season, out of season. I got Isaiah 13. It's a, do it's a double team. And conceal not. Like you, Paul Kersey, that's what you're doing. You're concealing. That is, you know the word, but you ain't publishing it. Yeah. You're concealing it. The word conceal means to hide. Means to hide. Yeah, don't hide it. 
Go ahead. They're ashamed. They're really ashamed of Yahweh Shai. They're ashamed of the gospel. Oh, Yahweh Shai said that he would be ashamed. Well, that's why the Lord oh, took it back from him. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> this is, hey, and Triple G would say this is serious business. Yes, yeah, serious business. Come on. Serious, serious business. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, man. This is serious business. Gone. It says, I, I got a good precept. Okay, okay. Farm it. Mark 8 and 38. Thanks to you. Uh, what this prayer, you well, Ooh. you know what I mean. Duck. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this oh, adultery. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wait, read that again. Read that Mark, again. <laughs> Mark 8 and 38. Mark 8 and 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The me is talking about your house shop. He comes in the volume of the book. You ever think everything good? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking at it. There's one person watching. But this is it's, it's unlisted. Maybe they're messing with it. Yeah. I was so angry. I was might be sick. It's Elon Rothschild. He's watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bill, Bill and Melinda Gates are watching. Yeah. Same, same. Go ahead. Mark 8 and 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father. Yeah, because you're not Paul Cush, you're not dealing with the whole world, man. I told you, when you gonna have that meet with Nathan, you don't wanna have that meet with Nathan because they're gonna take away that purple, that purple gun. <laughs> Kick you out of the IUIC. <laughs> I'll read it again. Mark 8 and 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful oh, generation. Give me, give me, give me uh, what is that? Exodus 23 and 1. Uh, Come. You know what I want. Exodus. Oh, okay. you know, let, let him read that. Exodus 23. Go ahead. Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shall thou speak in the cause to decline after many to rest judgment. To rest, wrestle judgment. Oh, you know what I want? The backup. The backup. Second Peter 3. Come. You know what I want? Second Peter. Here, you got, here the most I gave you that secret, but the mark of the beast is actually the, 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 the microchip. And you putting it, you you putting it, you folding up in a napkin, man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's a cold cut. Second Peter 3 and 3. The napkin niggas. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of the Most High the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. Go right to the point. Um, uh, is it a 10th verse? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief. Oh, 15. Oh, Salaki. 15. An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. So if you playing with the scriptures, man, this is going to be unto your own destruction. This is serious, man. Go ahead. Huh? It says, G, this, is, this is bad. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing you know these things before. You know that the mark of the beast, the microchip, and you hide it, man. Beware. So that. Okay. One, one second, brother. Ecclesiasticus 20 and 31. You're playing games, female Mia. <laughs> you, you, you're playing games, baby, baby Yoda. Ecclesiastes 20 and 31. Better is he that hideth his folly than a man that hideth his wisdom. Mm. Slice and dice. You hide your wisdom, man. You should be hiding your folly. I heard uh, that word hide. I had to join. Uh, <laughs> hide, hide. That was the cue. 
That was the cue. It says, uh, back to 2 Peter 3, 17. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing you know these things before, beware, lest you also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. You're not being steadfast. If you know a secret, man, you're supposed to tell the world. Oh. You know? Like your candle, you don't put a candle on the bushel, but you put it up on the top so people get the rooftop so people can see. Right. You leading people astray, man. Um, Mark see, some of y'all get caught up in a whole Hebrew Israelite thing. I gotta, I gotta say, some of you get caught up in a whole Hebrew Israelite thing. You don't get caught. You don't. You're not in the truth. You're just in the Hebrew Israelite thing. You love the, the High Holy Day. You love the Kelly. You love the marches. You love this. Well, I mean, but you don't love the truth. You don't right. love the truth. Precept for your apostle. Luke 11 and 33. No man, when he have lighted a candle, putteth it in a secret place. Mm. And what? Hold up. The mark of the beast being a microchip. Is that is that a, a candle a, being lit? A candle, a candle being as far as the light, right? Yeah. Yeah. A candle being lit. No man, when he have lighted a candle. And you can't get it because you're not one of the elect. Time. That's why you got offended at the word elect. That's why I say the elect, the elect, the elect, the elect, the elect. That's right. It, make, it makes the apostles' teeth white. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Spiritual <laughs> cold gate. I say it, nigga, all the time. It makes my teeth white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Paul Moody. Paul Moody. Luke, uh, Luke, <laughs> Luke 11 and 33. No man, when he have lighted a candle, put it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. And ain't nobody seeing Paul Kersey out there teaching. Hiding, hiding under that bushel, man. And since we're on that subject, I got some precepts. Whatever y'all got, I got some. Hiding in the shadows. Give me Isaiah 65, verse 22. No, no, I'm sorry. But give me Isaiah. I'm going to throw out a bunch of scriptures. We're going to read it back to back. Read them back to back. Uh, Isaiah 65, verse 9. Somebody get that? I got that. Man. Isaiah 65, verse 9. Isaiah 65, verse 22. So you can also get that. That's Isaiah 22. 42, verse 1. I got that. Isaiah 45, verse 4. Got that. Revelation 7 and 1. Titus 1 and 1. And 1 Peter 1 and 2. Let's read, let's read that. Let's try to read that in order. Come. I, Isaiah to the 65, verse 9. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains. And mine elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. Verse and share. Huh? Verse 25. Okay. Verse 25. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock. And, and dust shall be. Huh? 22. 22. 22 Salaki. That's a good one. I, anyway. Isaiah. You, said, you know what? 20, Isaiah 65, 22. And you can read a couple of verses. All the way down. Okay. The key point is in the 22nd verse. Okay. It says, Isaiah 65, verse 22. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. Are you in 22? Class 22, yeah. Go ahead. It says, for as, the, for as the days of a tree are, are... For as the days of a tree are the days of my people. And, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. Mine elect is talking about all, ultimately all of Israel. All of Israel is the elect of the most high. Right? Right. right. But there's the elect with the elect. Right. The Israel of the most high. Give me that in Galatians 6. Yep. Get it. Go ahead. Read okay. it out. They shall not labor in vain. Oh, oh, they shall not labor in vain. What are we doing right now? We're laboring, man. Yep. Sure. We're laboring for a cost, for, 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 to get a paycheck. Salvation, right? Salvation in the kingdom of heaven. In the throne, in the, in the crown on the head, and the scepter. And what are we going to do with the scepter? Hit East on the head. I'm coming in that spirit out of one body. Oh, yeah. What are we gonna do with that scepter, man? Beat the nations oh, yeah, yeah. down. We gonna beat you down, man. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, Here is the delicious? patience and the faith of the saints. Can, can I read this? Here's the patience and the faith of the saints, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Can you I read know this what I'm real talking about, right? Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And, them is... guys, and them guys is out there in the midst, filling bottles and shit. Cops beat. Oh, them. Them right in the middle and talking, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you got to give them guys credit for it. Yeah. You know? That was Hasha and them, right? Hasha. Hasha. I think they were out there, the cops were shooting the, the, the rubber bullets at them and they, they didn't get hit. They was talking about it. Who, who, who be going out in the middle of I don't know, they could. Like <laughs> they ain't think. Yeah, they ain't Kyle. think. They temp, that's called tempting the Lord. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they throwing Molotov, Molotov cocktails at right. your ass over you and you read. Yeah. Read it, brother. That's crazy. You know? Jake, you gotta use your you gotta use your head for something other than the head wrap. Yeah. <laughs> gotta use it for wisdom. <laughs> this is uh Saint John four and four uh Saint John four thirty six. And he that reapeth receiveth wages and gathereth fruit unto eternal unto life eternal, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. That's it. That's it. All right, back in Isaiah sixty five, verse twenty three. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord. Oh, they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord. Who's the seed of the blessed of the Lord? The Israelites. Is there more there? Yep. It says, um, it says, they shall not labor in vain nor bring forth for trouble. For they are, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord. And their offspring with them. That's the that, kinsmen, right. kinsfolk. That's, that goes back to the word son, sangaras, which means the blood, mm. your bloodline. When you go to Isaiah, I mean, uh, Romans, the ninth chapter, it's speaking about for Israel, my brother, my kinsmen, according, according to, to the, the flesh, flesh, who are Israel. Right. How in the hell can you get another nation in there, man? You can't. What's the next one? Isaiah 42 and 1. Behold, my servant. Whom I uphold, mine elect, and whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Now, who are the Gentiles right here? He's Israelite foreigners. Next, next, next. 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 And four. It says, and then uh, you got Revelation 7 and 1, then we got 21, then we got 1 Peter 1 and 2. Isaiah 45 and 4. But let every man prove his own. Is that correct? No. Isaiah 45 verse 4. four. Yeah. Uh, that's what it said, but it gave me the wrong scripture. Isaiah 45 and 4. It says, For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel mine elect. I have even called thee by thy name. I have summoned thee or surnamed thee. Thou, though thou hast not known me. Oh, that's the elect of Israel. What's the next precept? Revelation. Revelation 7 1. Revelation <laughs> chapter 7, verse 1. <laughs> and after these things, I then, saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea. No, that on, wind represents that nuclear wind, that fire. Go ahead. Nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, so we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And the hurting is, I have to keep stressing that, it's the, when the missiles are dropped on, 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 this, on this. Go ahead. And it says, and I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Now this guy, Bocab, he went to uh, GMS in Dallas over there in, in Texas. And he was saying that that's not talking about Israelites. Because he said, well, where's the tribe of Dan? We don't know where the tribe of Dan is, man. Dan has got to be mingled among the other tribes. 
But we know it's talking about the actual tribes, because when you look that word up, tribe, in the blue letter word there is, uh, was it, fulas? Yeah. Fulas. When you look up that word fulas, it's talking about one of the tribes of the children of the sons of Israel, all right? Which, Gnaeus, when you look at, uh, when, the, when Peter said, do not judge any, I'm paraphrasing, do not judge any other nation, when you look that word up, the word there, you see the word fulas, which means the tribe of Israel, right? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Because what you got to understand in history of Israel, you had Judah that didn't, didn't like certain other tribes, man. They treated there was them, hatred among the tribes. Yeah. Yeah. They treated them like heathens. They treated them like heathens, yeah. yeah. And that name, Dan, means judge. Right. And all the tribes are going to be judges. Right. I got the scripture right here, Matthew 19 and 28. And Yahweh I said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So the name Dan means judge, so all the tribes are gonna be judges. Yep. That's it. Revelation 7, right? I got Titus. Oh, you got Titus? Okay. This is Titus, the first chapter. And it says, Paul, a servant of the Most High. And the apostle of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, according to the faith of the Most High's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth, which is after godliness, in hope of eternal life, which the Most High that cannot lie. Oh, in hope of eternal life. So even the apostle Paul said, we say hope for elect. He said in hope of eternal life, that we hope that we can make it. We're doing this work diligently. Right. Give diligence to make that calling. Be said that. Sure. Give be diligence to make that calling and elect is sure. But at the same time, we're saying we are. We hope that we make it. Right. Man. Yeah. Uh, the Apostle Paul said we're prisoners of hope. Prisoners of hope. Yeah. That's it. One more. it says, Promise before the world began, but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. Woo <laughs> Woo! Is that what you call curses? Yeah! <laughs> Read that again from the top. Damn. This is Titus, the first chapter. That was a smoke. Call. If you're out there preaching, there's a good chance that you got to be up to your left, man. That's we true. got to understand it. The most I will do nothing except the, but he reveal a secret to the servant of God. Who knows these secrets, man? You give me that one body spirit. <laughs> Who knows the secret, man? Yeah, what about Noah? He preached until that day. That he entered into the ark. Yep. He preached until the day he entered into the ark, man. <laughs> so, so you know Noah was a righteous man, man. It's <laughs> like this is Titus the first chapter. Don't have a Jamie Fox. <laughs> Iron Man, man. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Paul, a servant. <laughs> yeah. go, 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 go. go ahead. Paul. A servant of the Most High and an apostle of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, according to the faith of the Most High's elect and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness, in hope of eternal life, which the Most High that cannot lie promised before the world began. Mm. 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 World, that's all, yeah. that's all. Don't read no more. Somebody might commit to Oh, that was a whopper. Oh, that was a whopper. <laughs> and what's the last, the last precept? What I give you? I know it's Peter. I got a quick precept. That was what right, right. This is Acts 26 and 6. And now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of the Most High unto our fathers, unto which promise our 12 tribes instantly serving the Most High day and night, hope to come. Who said that? Apostle Paul. Hey, so that shows you right there that first they knew. Peter one, uh, first Peter 1, verse 2. Uh, that, go ahead and read that again. Uh, Acts 26 and 6. And now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of the Most High unto our fathers, unto which promise our 12 tribes instantly serving the Most High day and night hope to come. He was speaking to Agrippa. <laughs> yep. And that shows right there he knew about the 12 tribes. Yep. That show that proves back then you had the scattering of the twelve tribes. Because right. if that wasn't so, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have mentioned about the twelve tribes. <coughs> right. And James also confirmed it. Because James, James yeah, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Right. What does it mean scattered abroad? Meaning outside of Jerusalem. Kind. 
That's why that's where secular history comes in. A lot of you Israelites, man, you lazy to that secular history. You don't get into the secular history. And there was 12 tribes, mm -hmm. you know, literally. And then you read about Anna, the prophetess. She was yep. of the tribe of Asher. Yep. It See, says, well, well, um, uh, Ephesians 2, you start 9 verse tells you about that. Common because the question Israel. was, the, common, yeah, because yeah. the question was whether the other tribes can make it or the ones that do like that became Gentiles. Right. So go to that right quick. Ephesians, Ephesians, Ephesians 2, two verse, you can start at 9. All right. Ephesians chapter 2, <laughs> verse 9. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Yahweh Shai, unto good works, which the Most High hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh. He was talking about the Israelites that were thinking that they were Gentiles, man. So they figured that the Jews. They, well, they were they were envious of the, of the Gentiles, the Israelites in uh, Acts uh, 13 chapter, Acts 14 chapter. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Go ahead. Who are called uncertain? Paul wanted to kill Paul because he brought Israelites, which are in the Gentile state of mind, into the into the inner into the uh, in the temple, man. Yeah. You know. So the, so so the, the Jews wanted to kill Paul. Hey, the, 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 the term Benjamin wasn't even popular because Paul said, I, for I also am an Israelite of the tribe of right. Benjamin. Right. So back then, it's Jews, Jews, Jews. Right, right, right. All they knew about was Judeans. Judah. The Judah. Babylonians right, right. They labeled them all Judeans. Yeah, right? Judah, Judah, Judah. Yeah. But among the Jews, you had Benjamin. Didn't the Apostle had... Paul even call himself a Jew? Yeah, he said, yeah, he, said he was a Jew. I am a, a man with your Because Jew. they didn't know, they, they didn't understand Benjamin, yeah. Levi, yep. and uh, Issachar, you yep. know? Oh man, it's hey, a hell of a day. It's a car with a baked that noodle. <laughs> well, it's a car, man. If you happy that it's a car with this Jerusalem, because they yeah. start tearing shit up, boy. <laughs> man, them it's the right boxes, man. Yeah. And it's a car. They come, they come to fucking fight at all times. Yeah, they were. You gotta know, knock them out cold. Yeah, they were. You know? They just hey, keep those, coming. Those Aztecs, they 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 uh gave a um the Spanish. A hard oh, time. Yeah, yeah. You know, they were giving yeah, them a hard yeah, time. Yeah. Well, they, wasn't that the Alamo? They fought at the Alamo? Uh, they were giving their, uh, Esau yeah, a hard time. Yeah. The, the Alamo, right? Yeah. They were giving well, Esau a hard time. Well, there's a couple, couple, yeah, yeah. couple, couple uh, instances. This is called warriors yeah. to the death. They're warriors and they're not even warriors. Yeah. But all the tribes are warriors. Go ahead. I said, <laughs> Levi was the worst warrior tribe, man. They had them fucking swords. Waiting for you to touch the cattle, they can chop your damn head off, man. Hey, well, um, the revolution, what was it, 1804? Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, kicked, sure. they kicked the French, they kicked the sure. French ass. Everybody catching so much hell today. Because yep. Esau never forgets. Yeah, Esau's a hypocrite. He's a, he's a, he's, he's a, he's a real racist bastard. <laughs> he wants us to forget, you know, what the he did to us. The racist ass yep. French. The racist ass Esau. Racist ass Frenchies. The racist ass Esau. Go ahead. Uh, Ephesians 2 and 11. Wherefore, remember that ye being a time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Well, uncircumcision were Israelites that didn't know that they were Israelites that were beginning to come into the fold. That's what Acts 13 chapter and Acts 14 chapter is all about. I got to do it. One of us to do it. Sit down on that. Get that understanding, man. God. Heavy, heavy. Go ahead. That at that time you were without Yahweh Shai, being aliens from the. Hey, you had a lot of Israelites that, that had a problem with breaking understanding of uh, Romans the eleven chapter. Yeah. yeah. Now, high priest Ari said that those are talking about heathens. They ain't talking about heathens. Those are talking about Israelites. Israelites. Yeah. Go ahead. That at that time you were without Yahweh Shai, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Because when, because when our Lord came on the scene, he came around the, the Judah, you know? Right. And then our Lord made the statement, other sheep I have which are not of this fold, right. them also must I bring. Who is that? What, the other nations? I don't think so. Uh, Those other are the tribes. other tribes. Yeah. The tribes scattered the tribes over here in America. Yep. Yeah. And you got Edomites. There was a movie came out when I was young. I was a kid. I was always in the scriptures. It was dealing with the... Uh, the Israelites or the, the Lord coming to the Americans. Right. Because they said in the movie that the tribes were over here. 
So I knew about them tribes before I came, long before I came into the truth, when I was like 15, 16. Anytime there was a, back in the day, they used to have biblical movies and they would have it in regular theaters. They don't do that no more. Because the Bible is not as popular, but it's getting popular right, again, right. thanks to us. The Spirit putting, the most I put the Spirit on us, come out here like we do, you know? Yeah. yeah. And like I said, these Christians, they don't want to admit it, but they be watching, what? Right, brother? They be watching them. They be watching. They be going into the books. Even vocab. He tries to get. He tries to get that Hebrew Israelite spirit. He got his map out. He grows his beard. Book out. He grew his beard. You know. Hey, what's up with that vocab? Yeah, Why that you grow? Truth is kicking yeah. him in the ass. Man. Truth is kicking your ass, man. Why you grew a beard? We making him walk all walk. What a fashion statement, vocab. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, because when he first came, call himself coming against us. He had no beard, nope. and then he would grow a Luigi mustache or something like that. Nope. Then he would cut it. Then he then he grew a beard yeah, like yeah. a Sunni type beard. He grew up like Luigi. <laughs> that, like that no, movie. Mario. That's, like, that's Mario. Yeah. You got that Mario. movie Bruce Pop Almighty Pop with that dude, the comedian who oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, was playing Noah. Yeah, 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 Every time he shaves his beard, he'll grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was okay. Yeah. This is uh, Ephesians two and twelve. It says that at that time you were without Yahweh Shai. Being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise. I think that word commonwealth, I think it means the tribes. It goes back to the tribes of Israel, okay. the whole nation of commonwealth. Aliens, because they didn't know their true nationality. And right. that goes back to uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Right. Thou shalt discontinue from, from thine heritage. heritage. Right. They were following the ways of the... Yeah, and then you had and you throw in Antiochus in the mix right. and the edict that he passed right. that we couldn't circumcise our sons anymore. You find that in the book of uh first Maccabees. Well I wouldn't that's what I wanted to open up with, but yeah. the spirit wasn't with it. Kind of. You find yeah. that in the book of First Maccabees. That scripture right. right there shows you the heinousness, yeah. the heinousness Absolutely. of Esau. Of these Edomites, right? yeah. Oh, that's uh this is a term you people out there should learn. Uh Hellenites. That's when our nation became Hellenites. When you look up the term Hellenize, it means Israelites that adopted a Greek custom and fashion. They were Hellenized. You had some? I got some, yeah. Let me, I just wanted to look up that word commonwealth. It's a politeia, which sounds like a city. Yeah. Because yeah. it goes, it's citizenship. Citizenship. Yep. Concretely a community. Commonwealth freedom. But then I looked it up in the, re in the regular dictionary, dictionary and it says a politically organized body of people a cosmos under a single government the cosmos tribes. the tribes yeah the yep. tribes. because they were strangers from that now there's another scripture when you look up the definition it says that the rights were conceded rights in other words you had the jews in jerusalem when the israelite foreigners were coming in they were giving them the rights it's like ah you know here mm. You know, like, 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 they really didn't want to do it yeah. because you guys, you fell off, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you trying to come back in here. Yeah, yeah. here, just take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so that, you know, so that, that, that was a big issue back then. Right. Because Judah was like, look, man, we always been in this thing. Where, yeah. where y'all been at? You know. And like the scripture says in Isaiah, they were holier than thou. Right. And the Lord said, there's smoke in his nose because they're a bunch of hypocrites. Right. Right. Yeah, they, they like the like the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They pride themselves the law, law, the yeah. law. But were they keeping the law? Nope. nope. And you wish I he, he put them on blast. He said, "What they say, do, but do not as they do. Right? right. What they say and do, do not. not." That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> that was the last scripture you called. Yeah, that was the last one. Yeah. So First Peter's one and two, yeah, one elect That's according to the more. foreknowledge of the Most High, the Father the sanctification of the spirit unto the obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach grace unto you and peace be multiplied that's it that was that was our first Peter one and one yeah and and when you read the second chapter it, it goes into Israelites that and those strangers were Israelites that that were scattered that the, the, the Apostle Peter was addressing up there in Pontus and Galatia, Pontus, yep, Galatia you know yep. Bithynia Cappadocia, Cappadocia yeah, 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 yeah. I got a little more in Ephesians 2, possibly. Right, yeah, right. Ephesians 2, verse 12 again. It says, that at that time you were without Yahweh Shai, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without the most high in the world. Oh, by the way, that's where you get the word Gentile. Alien and Gentile mean the same thing. Right. 
because Gentile in the Latin is gentilis, which means foreigner right? or alien. So the Gentiles that the Bible is talking about that salvation was given to, those, those are the Israelites, okay? You can't get around it, man. You can fight against it all you want to, but you can't get around it. I look crazy with this thing on the top of my head. No, I just, you know, no, no we look crazy just being out here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, we look crazy just being out here. People yeah. pulling up in their cars, looking at us, laughing. Yeah, well, earlier somebody passed by and said, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> but then the Lord said that, well, wait a minute, uh, First uh, Corinthians 4 and 9. Yeah. If, if you want to bring that up. That's, that's, that's scriptural. to the world, world yeah. man. And to angels and to men. Yeah. Dig it. Yeah, because the angels are around us right now. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 4 9. For I think that the Most High has set forth us, the apostles, last, as they were appointed to death, for we are made of spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. Yeah, people riding up in their cars, looking at us, pointing, laughing. Yep. Some people are laughing. Some people are in awe, like staring, like, like they see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like they've seen a, a ghost or something. Yeah. yeah. What's that scripture? Men wandered at? Mm, yeah. Man, well, I forgot what that was. Stop it. Yeah. Then you got the demons that just come and just mess with us. Like yeah. earlier, that guy yeah. came up. Piss. He's pissing right there. Of all places he could piss, yeah. he's going to come that, up, you know, right there. That shit stunk, too. Smell like hell. It says, We are fools for Yahweh's sake, but you are wise in Yahweh's We are weak, but you are strong. You are honorable, but we are despised. Yeah, the, uh, there's a scripture in 1 Corinthians, the first chapter. It says, The foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men. Now, what we're doing is foolishness because the Lord can wake up his people like that, man. But this shows our faith. This shows you got, you got a precept. Okay, bring it up. Hebrews 12 and 1. Matter of fact, get that. It's the fools are preaching in 1 Corinthians. You know what it's at? 1 Corinthians 1. Yeah. So, 1 Corinthians, the first chapter. And. So you you want Corinthians? Yes. Yeah, it started. It started twenty. Twenty. It's First Corinthians one and twenty. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the where is the disputer of this world? Hath not the Most High made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that in for after that in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching. To save them that believe, which is the elect. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, read that again. Read that again. That well, shows you that it, all Israel is not gonna be delivered. Yeah. But Go ahead. But after that, in the wisdom of the heavenly Father, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. It pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. To save the elect. Because the only ones that's going to see through this is the elect. Others are going to laugh and be in awe. What's this all about? They're going to try to make heads and tell them, man. Yeah. You know? Go yeah. ahead. Then it causes foolishness. It's the foolishness of preaching. It's, some people come up, you guys look like fools. Oh, well, tell us something we don't know. Right. <laughs> you know? You it says, for the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach. The Mas Greeks is talking about there is the Israelites that were speaking Greek. Like case in point, uh, Timothy's father, he was called a Greek. Why? Because he was an Israelite that spoke Greek. Well, there's certain groups, Israelites out there that can't get over that. And Timothy's father was the Edomite. You know? No, Cornelius is the Edomite, but Timothy's father, which is a Greek, was not a he was an Israelite. Right. Come on, man. A lot of ignorance in Israel. That's why the Lord is only dealing with the elect. You got it. it says, but and we... only uh, the elect know that the market beats the microchip. Oh, absolutely. So what's up with you, Paul Kirsten? <laughs> oh. You still, are you a part of the elect? Yeah. Because you're offended by the word elect. Yeah. The elected. The elected. Like that. Yeah. That means you was offended, man. Blessed is yeah. he that's not offended in me. Now I'm offended at the word Jesus fucking Christ. Thank you. Yes. I was going to say, that's what, yeah, like Nate, you said we don't know the name of the Most High, but yet you're calling on Christ. That's that's hypocrisy on your part, man. 
because I found a scripture where there was a group that the Apostle Paul ran into. They had an altar, and you know what plaque, what the, the name they put on it? To the unknown God. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Right. Because so, they didn't know his name, but they yeah. were wise enough to realize there is a power, right. but right. we don't know his name. Right. right. But you said there's a power, but we don't know his name, but yet you call on Christ. So that makes him what? Just call him the unknown God. That's what I had said when I did my video. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a the cold. The man with yeah. no name. The man, yeah, even <laughs> Clint Eastwood. Yep. Yep. He played that role, the man with no name in the uh, Spaghetti well, Western. So that was also uh, in uh, the uh, Mel Gibson. Melly Gibson. Melly Gibson. Yeah. <laughs> There's the a Okay. And then here he is, the man with no name. Oh, yeah, Which I'm pretty sure they Mad lifted Mad that up yeah, from yeah, yeah, Clint yeah, Eastwood. Yeah, 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 the man with no name. Yeah. So if you don't know the name of the most, I just say this is the myth. Oh, Heavenly right. Father, we don't know your name. Right. Yeah. But he's, but you Whatever specific, your name is. Right. But you specifically said Christ, Nate. You said Christ. So how you get around that? I got the definition Grecians in the, in the uh, Bible dictionary, if you want. Yeah. This is uh, the, the compact Bible dictionary. It says Greece, Grecia, Grecians. Uh, Grecia is Greece, the home of the Hellenes. Hellenes. Uh, Greeks and Grecians, however, are to be distinguished. Greeks are generally those of Hellenic race. Example, Acts 16 and 1, Acts 18 and 4, and probably St. John 12 and 20. But the word may be used to indicate uh, non-Jews, foreigners, and aliens. Romans 1 and 16. Grecians were Greek-speaking Jews. That's that secular history, man. Folk, folk of the dispersion from areas predominantly Greek. Acts 6 and 1, Acts 9, 29. Uh, Greece and its associated island groups uh, formed the southeast end of southern, of southern Europe's mountain system, a rugged peninsula and archip archipelago. Uh, not rich. I think it goes on to uh, other stuff. You know. mm -hmm. I got, I got the a, point was made. I got a precept where, where that kind of started. Uh, First Maccabees one and what is that? One and ten. Uh, First Maccabees. First Maccabees one and ten. It says. Uh, it's like it. it says. Um, and there and there came out of them a wicked root Antioch. Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been an hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the, and he reigned in the hundred and thirty and seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, "Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen." What heathen? The Greeks that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king, being Antiochus, right? Who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. So they became what? They became Hellenized. That was the beginning of your Israelites becoming like the Greeks. They were wearing the Greek clothes, the Greek fashion. They wore a hat. Yep. They didn't uh, circumcise their children. Yep. Says you know? that too. Tattoos. Yep. They, got, they, 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 they uncircumcised themselves. They were circumcised. They, they worked out in the place of exercise. Yeah. And you brought that out. You went into that history. How they tear the dead skin, they put it back on, yeah, sewed yeah. it back on their penis. Oh, that'd be yeah. something. With, with, that'd be something. With, yeah, which is a, 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 a term, word, right? Yeah, Greek yeah, term. Yeah, Greek yeah, term. Yeah. The brother, you know, the. Benjamin, my brother, has sent it to me. Which is disgusting, man. Yeah, man. That's yeah. dead. You know. Yeah, it's wicked as Taking hell. Taking flesh and then dead flesh. showing it back on your, your peanut. Anyway, it says, it says, whereupon they you, built a place. I feel like it was because they had, to, they had to uh, exercise butt naked. So they had to show that they weren't circumcised. They couldn't show that they were circumcised. Otherwise, they'd, you're breaking the law of the Break, Greeks. Of, of, you know? Antiochus. Yeah. The edict of Antiochus. Yeah. Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant. That's why the Jews hated them so, hated them so much, and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. Mischief. 
So that's history, man. That's pure history right there that a lot of our people are ignorant to. That's why you can't understand the Gentile thing. Right. And there was a lot of Israelites back then that were following behind that. That was a multitude following, you know, the people following the multitude to do uh, mischief. I got, got a quick one. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles, carried away into these dumb idols, even as you were led. Because what made them uncircumcised was the fact that they went behind and started worshiping those idols. And that's how uh, uh, the Israelites fell back then. Um, I got another quick one if nobody has anything. I got, I got some more. Yeah, bring it up. It's uh, Ezekiel 34 and 6. My sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon every high hill. Yeah, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth. Beautiful. And none did search or seek after them. Right. Beautiful. And that's what made Israel fall away. That's what made them uncircumcised. This is why the Jews in Jerusalem were avoiding them. Yeah. They had a they had a disdain for them. And this is why they will call them the uncircumcised. When you go back to uh, first, uh, first Maccabees 1, it tells you in one of the verses that uh, since we have uh, departed. departed yeah. uh, I'll go back to it. Right. I mean, that, and that said I wanted to open up with that. that that's a heavy, you know, that's a heavy spirit. chapter right there. Oh, yeah. That's the spirit. Because uh, they forced them to <laughs> not be Israelites. Yep. Just like Esau is doing today. Oh. They're going to force you with the vaccinations. They don't, you know? Can I read something real quick about the shot? This is uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or yeah. profess himself to all, uh, to, and, and, or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Woo! What do you mean that? Uh, 2 Maccabees 6 and 6. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got Corinthians on the brain. 2 Maccabees 6 and 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient uh, feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So they, they, made, they made laws where you can't be, you're not a Jew no more. You're, you're Hellenized. Yep. Right. You know, you're a Greek. Yep. That's why in the New Testament, Acts, Corinthians, it speaks of, it refers to them as Grecians and Greeks. Yep. Right. Because they were Israelites. A perfect example. Give me Acts 6 and 1. Yep. I found those verses you wanted to. Okay. Uh, Acts chapter 6 verse 1 and in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in daily ministration so those so wait a minute I thought the, I thought the law was only gathering this one how did the Grecians get a part of that because the Grecians the Grecians were the Greek word is uh, Hellenistas you know, they were they were they were Israelites that were raised up in other lands, mainly uh, Greece itself. You know. Yes. That's all. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. First Maccabees one and forty-one. But then you have like Christians that say, "Well, see, that's talking about that they got together with the Greeks." No, they did not get together with the Greeks. They got together with the Israelites that were raised up in a Greek way of life. A lot of them couldn't, couldn't speak Hebrew. Yeah. Why was Paul able to speak uh, Greek? There was a reason why he was able to speak Hebrew and Greek. Yep. Because he was going to speak to a lot of the, I be, Give me that uh, Romans, uh, the 11th chapter. I believe it's around about the 11th verse. Get it? Yep. Therefore, I magnify my office. Um, Romans 11, is it? Some 11, I got it, I got verse 11 around here. Romans 11 and 13. Good. For I speak, Sorry, 11. Sorry, 11. I don't know why I said 11. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 11. I say, then, have they stumbled that they should fall? Most high forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles. We had to read that salvation is come to the Gentiles, meaning the Israelites. Folk have to say, oh, let's talk about other nations. No, it's not. It's talking about Israelites and getting on the deal with Israelites coming back into the fall. Right. That's what the regrafting is all about. This is not hard. Like like the woman said, it's easy. Easy. Yeah. You read the Bible easy. She had more understanding than folk had. Huh? Go ahead. And it says, for to provoke them to jealousy. Now, if the fall of them be riches of the world and the, 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 the ministry. The riches is talking about. 
Yeah. Some must throw out the riches knowledge. Yep. What we have yep. is riches. Yeah. You know? Understanding. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. And the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners, right, bread, right. how much more their fullness. The, who's fullness? The, the, the Jews. Jews fullness. Yes. Go, go ahead. For I speak to you, Gentiles. Oh, this shouldn't have you missing something? Life from the, the life from the dead or you missing? Yeah. Yeah, because the life from the dead. You miss yeah, what should be? Over. Yeah, because the Lord said he's going to raise up the tents of Judah first. So the word really came to Judah first. So how much more when they come? Yeah. I'm going to read verse 12 again. Romans 11 and 12. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world. The fall of the Jews be the riches of the world. Go ahead. And the diminishing of the world there should be cosmos, right? Cosmos. The nation Israelite, of Israel. Israelites. Yeah. Yeah. Now that is scattered. 12 tribes are scattered as one. Read yeah. Go ahead. And the diminishing of them. The riches of the Gentiles, how much, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. how much more their fullness? How much more their fullness? Because they're all going to come. They're all going to be, oh, Jeremiah was that. Jeremiah 50 and Jeremiah 51. You don't got to go to it. Judah and Israel were oppressed together. Right. So they're going to be saved together. Right. When you go back to uh, Revelation 7, from the tribe of Judah. 12,000. 12, yep. From the tribe of and so forth and so on. And that's literal. That's literal. That's literal, folks. Yeah. That's little vocab. Go ahead. For for I speak to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my office. I magnify my office. Yeah. My job is to deal, just not just, just, just to deal with the Jews, the Indians, but all you Israelites. All the tribes. Yeah. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh, and might save some of them. Who was his flesh? Uh, the Jews. Because he was of the tribe of Benjamin. And Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, which were predominantly in Israel at that time, they were all lumped together and they were called Jews. So you can't understand that unless you know the history, right. vocab. 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 This is the verse right here, Pastor. Go ahead. But if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world. Jew, the Jews, the casting away of Jews, yes. being the reconciling of the world, which are the Israelite foreigners. Go ahead. What shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? For all, of them. For all of them. And that's where it's. Uh, for all of them. I got to get that Morgan Freeman. For yeah. all of them. For all of them. Yeah, yeah, life from the dead. That's what when you read that, it says, so all. Spiritual is, life from the dead. God. Yeah. Uh, dry bones, yeah, Ezekiel that's 37. That's right. right. I was thinking too of Proverbs. Look, 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 look Pocap, just give it up. It's easy. <laughs> it's I'm, even a Russian woman said, yeah. it's easy. It's easy. Yeah. easy. Yeah. I was also thinking of Proverbs 21 and 16. Yeah. He that wandereth out of the way of understanding right. so shall remain, remain in, in the, the congregation, congregation of the dead. Yeah, that dead is that valley. Yeah. yeah. And the valley's America, low land. And that's why it says further down, it says, and so all Israel shall be saved. When the Israelite foreigners, the, the sum from among them, they brought back. And then in the kingdom, all the Israel shall be saved. That's right. And like that guy that keeps going around in the car, he's an Israelite. He's driving the car, playing that lousy music. But he's dead from the neck up. Oh, he's dead. He's he dead. Is, he's you dead. Could, he's I, dead. I took a that look car, at him. That car he's driving around <laughs> yep. is a damn coffin with wheels on yeah. Coffin with wheels on He's a zombie. Right? Yeah, I took but a he's look. But he's nothing but a zombie. He's yeah. just a zombie. And he looked like a zombie. I, I looked dead at him when he was in the car. He looked just like a zombie. Man. He said he looked like a zombie. <laughs> he's, a, he's a total zombie, dead from the neck up. And he looked like uh, he looked like uh, a Festa, Festa zombie. <laughs> now y'all don't know who Festa zombie is. No, no. Hey man, I was on YouTube. There's, a, there's like a new there's like, there's those video games. They got Tyson. He, he kind of came back in the uh -huh. reincarnation. So he's fighting all these zombies, man. And one of the zombies that he put was Festa zombie. So man, I was watching that shit crack. You know, the, I think I might have seen it. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, I, that was a cartoon, right? It's like a, but no, they made him like a real life dude. Oh, okay. He's called okay. Festus Simon. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but there's an actual oh, Festus, Festus. I'll show you. I'll show you. There's a lot of these on the Festus Zombies, man. Damn. You know? Go ahead. Uh, it says, uh, if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. Yeah, the first fruit of the Jews. The first fruit is uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the that's the first fruit. The lump. 
Yeah. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob. If you came out of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I don't care if you got in the rocket ship and went up to the fucking moon and had children up there, y'all, y'all was called fucking aliens. You know? Yeah, yeah. You're still Israelites. Yeah. Moonites. As long as your line goes back to that lump, that brat. So they were cut off, but they can be grafted back in. Come that, on. That, now. That's that's Come science. On. That's science. Come on. You got it, bro. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. Same thing. The root, like the apostle of the elder Tal said, the root is uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's the root. And the branches are who? The tribe of Judah, the tribe of Benjamin, yeah. the tribe of Levi, the tribe of Issachar, the tribe of Asher, the tribe of Gad, the tribe of Reuben. Yep. And their heads. Yep. Yep. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou, being a wild olive tree, work grafted in among them. Why, what made yeah. them wild? Yeah, because they were living, they were they, they were uncircumcised, they were eating pigs, they were gad, a lot of gadites. Gadites were eating dogs, man. Yeah. So they became wild, like wild olive trees. So they had to be grafted back in. The general plant. Oh, like right. The, in, in the scripture says they're engrafted into the world. Uh, I think it's a little further down. All right, go ahead, go ahead. It says, grafted in among them and with them partake. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's in uh, James. That's in James, the first chapter, the 21st verse. Um, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity That's of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. Because the engrafted word is what? The word was outside and was grafted into Israel. So we got to be grafted back and we got to be grafted in spiritually. You know, that's why there's the elect of the elect. That's, that's why there's the Israel of the Most High. Yeah. One of them brothers from, uh, I think it was Yashawamba, did a video on grafting. You can't graft, take one part of a tree and graft it into a whole nother tree. Right. You graft, when you graft, you take that part that's taken out of that tree into a same tree. Right. Then it grows together. Because you got, because Esau does that. They graft, they make vegetables or right. fruits out of two different things and it's a whole, that ain't no, that ain't no real fruit. Yeah, you know? right. that's, that's why it's not beneficial. So. Um, so, yeah, you got, you got you know, That's why it's not beneficial. That's it, why it's not beneficial. Messes you right. up. Well, that's why we got so many digestive problems. Yeah. You can thank Esau for that. That's that's why Esau got to fucking go. That's why yeah, you got to go. You, you eat corn and corn is GMO. You yeah, know, like you tangerines. Eat, tangerines is a mixture of what? Orange and... Orange so, and... Uh, yeah, something. Like nec nectarine yeah, something tangerine like is not even yeah, real. Yeah. I mean, it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes, it tastes good. good. But, it, but it's not real. It's not for real. No. Um, right, where we at? Uh, we get ready to close anyway. It's six o'clock. Back in Romans eleven and seventeen, and if some of the branches be, in, okay. be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree, boast not against the branches. But if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Thou will say then the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Mm. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. And you know what? Now all of us are broken off. And all of us stand by, 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 uh, by hope. All of us stand by faith. All of us was considered Gentiles. Yeah. And we now all stand by faith. This thing of ours is based upon faith. Because, you know, it's based upon faith. That, that, that's all that needs to be said. Bottom lines. Yeah. Scripture says, here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Yeah. That's it. I, that's all I got to say. You got a precept? Uh, this, this is Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is a gift of the Most High. Okay, okay, just want to make sure. So, okay, so when it comes down to it, if we make it, that means that was a gift given to us by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shah. That's, that's what it comes down to. But the scripture also says for us to give diligence to make our calling and election sure. Wow. So that's why we're out here. And hey, this is all we know, man. Yeah. Teach the word, you know, do the sit downs during the week, yeah. Constantly feeding the flock. Yeah, I wish I said, if he told Peter three times, if you love me, Peter, feed my lambs and feed my sheep. 
So that shows we're showing love to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, especially Yahweh Shai, by coming out here and feeding his sheep. Plus, we owe him. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah. The, then the scriptures say when we've done the work, say we're unprofitable servants because we did that which, which we're supposed to do. So there's really no room for glorifying or glorying, you know? Yeah, like you jump up and say, well, Lord, I did this, I gave my... Well, you're suppo we're supposed to do that. We're Israelites. Profitable servant. We're supposed to do what we're doing as Israelites. That's it. That's it. That's all right. It says, Romans 12 and 11, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit. We read that earlier. It's not slothful. Not slothful in business. Me and the Lord's business. Go ahead. Serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope. Patient in tribulation, yep. continually continue. Oh, rejoicing in hope. We said that earlier. We hope that we're delivered. We hope that we're saved. The hopeful elect. You, you've heard us say time and time again out there, the hopeful elect. The hopeful Paul elect. came in that same spirit. Kept using hope. Man. We so hope that we're that's saved. That's a humble way of saying it. Man. Uh -huh. Absolutely. You know? Patient in tribulation. Patient in tribulation. Yep. Go ahead. Continuing. Continuing. Instant in prayer. Yep. Well, we a lot of us we pray, man. We we, we keep telling you, brothers, about prayer. Uh, Apostle Elder Ricard, he swears by that, man. Oh, yeah. Almost all his videos, brothers, we gotta pray, brothers, we gotta pray. So you know, go ahead. Distributing to the necessity of saints. Yep. Given to hospitality. Given to hospitality. Yep. Bless hey, yeah. Oh, well, given to hospitality, people come along, even if they're of, of the nation. We what we're what we doing, man. Yeah. And you got derelicts to come by. Yep. You know, homeless people, they ask for money, we give them money. Give them money. You know what I'm yep. saying? Yep. That's right. Go ahead. Bless them which persecute you. Bless them, curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. That's it. We'll we'll be out here next week, Lord will. We'll, we'll, we'll be out on the street next week. Lord will. Tell the brother to get the sign. Uh, Shalomsky.